we got an interesting game here tonight. Uh, Bushido, uh, Bushido Banzai, uh, and versus Fro for content. Sorry, the name was cut off there. I had. <laughs> Tempo, I'm uh, sorry to interrupt you for one moment. I, I just want to make sure that this, because I think the stream right now is showing like the the things on the side as well. So I'm just going to finish that real quickly for you. Yeah, it's showing like on the side. So that's why I'm trying to fix that real quickly. I don't know why it's showing up because I don't I don't use this account too often. Like the the second one. How do you get them? Okay. Okay, I, I took it off now. Oh, so we're, okay. We're, we're uh, good. We're good. We're all good now. Uh, are we still live? Oh, we're yeah, still live. Now we're live. But now we're good. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> Woo! I'm sorry. Woo! Welcome. Sorry, I'm laughing because. We're, sorry, sorry. We, we have. Welcome all. Welcome, welcome. Oh, what the laces. Tier 2, week 12. Uh, and here tonight, we got a pretty interesting game here. Uh, Bushido Bonsai versus Furry for Content. Uh, one of the Furry for Content, one of the best teams in this tier two league. Absolute giants. Uh, when it comes to this tier, uh, they uh, they they as, you, as most people remember them, they were they also they were also here last season, and they were like, like well, also like last season, they were absolutely big titans. These just big powerhouse figures. Bushido Bonsai, on their hand, is kind of the, on the opposite side of the coin. This team's been kind of rebuilding. They lost a lot of pieces a couple weeks back, uh, and they've been on the rebuilding phase. And they have some interesting pickups to replace some of their, the pieces they've lost, which I will get into uh, before this game starts. However, I'm going to start introductions here. Um, I'm uh, Temple Reiki. I'll be uh, your play your play play commentator. And hello, I this is Chuckster, and I will do my best on the second parts <laughs> and it's time to put everything together here yeah see ya so i'm sorry sorry, 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 sorry uh, I, should, I should apologize quickly about a bogle perhaps but we started we were, we were laughing and giggling in the beginning of this stream uh we, we had some technical difficulties when the stream was starting uh, some things that were happening that were preventable prohibiting us to start the stream so i i, I will apologize for a slight a slight start late start on the, our side, and also the fact why we were giggling at the beginning of the stream, but uh, so but going back, getting back on the topic, uh, Bushido Banza, like I was rude before, this team w lost a lot of pieces. Uh, if I'm correct, they lost five, right? Am, am, I, am I right about that, Chuck? Uh, Bushido Banza definitely went through a lot of changes, and especially I would, and uh, I think that is very correct as well. I think they did lose like at least like five members. Uh, if, if not, if not, maybe a little bit less than that, but it was a significant uh, roster change, that's for sure. Yeah, indeed. Um, sorry, scrolling back quickly. So, pieces they had, they, they lost Reflex. Uh, uh, for some pieces they lost, I should say, I should say, is they lost Reflex, Yun, uh, Young, uh, J Money, and, and Zanny. So, I'm, I'm wrong. Four P. they lost four. Now... If you know, if, if a lot of people, a lot of people know this, uh, a lot of these pieces were kind of big playmakers for this team. Uh, J Money was one of the more iconic players with Bushido Banzai. He's been he's been on the team since this team was Duck Duck Die or Duck Duck Goats, excuse me. Uh, and Zanny, you know, Zanny's one of those players. He's he's a he's one of those players that has like one, you know he, he does like to jump teams quite a bit sometimes here and there. He likes to uh, play different a lot, a lot of different teams, but. At, at the end of the day, he's a fantastic off team player, and when I and when I hear about him and what I've heard about him, he's a very vocal, very smart player, very, very like very good he's a player. So those are huge pieces they lost. And Reflex and Young, don't know don't know much about them uh, personally. I know Reflex is from White Walkers, uh, but what I was seeing for a lot of the reaction in Overwatch talk, these are massive drops coming from them, or the uh, all for him, and the, the, to replace them. I, they uh they picked up some new some new guys. Um, Esdif, uh, Kite has returned to this Bushido roster. Uh, a lot of people might remember Esdif as Overhaul Gaming. Overhaul is uh, or sorry, my bad. Excuse me about that. Um, uh, Esdif is a you know he's gonna play, probably playing these hit skins like the Ash, the McCree, maybe the Torbjorn for them. And they also picked up the piece I'm excited the most excited for. They picked up Neil Golden King. Uh. Now, if you guys don't know who Neil Golden Key is, 
uh, let, me, let me quickly explain. Neil Golden King is a he is a projectile player that also, but he can also play the McCree. He plays a lot of Doomfist, a lot of Farah. Uh, like I said, he, but he also can play characters like the McCree. He, he can potentially play the Sombra also. Um, but this man is a nut when it comes to mechanics. Neil Golden, Neil Golden King, like. My personal experience of being on a team with him in the past, in the past, um, this man is a nut. He is just, by nut, I mean good nut. Like, he is just popping off on this Doomfist constantly. Mechanically, is very solid, and my opinion, this might be a hot take, but might be one of the best pickups I've seen for a team. Like, if, to, like honestly, you know, like, if you're going to lose someone like J Money, you know, Gordon King, and, and also Esdiv, they're not bad, they're not bad pickups to replace those pieces. Uh, I'm very interested to see what Bushido could do with Neo Golden King. Um, now in TFC, they uh, they have uh, TFC most of the same roster we're seeing here tonight. The only, the only difference is that we will not be seeing uh, Lee Ratty, who was uh, dropped the, uh, left uh, left this roster to, to uh, go to Iconic Noobs. Uh, but TFC will be rocking most of the same roster. Besides that, if I'm correct, not a lot of changes. Unlike uh, Bushido Bonsai, which we're seeing, we're, we're going to be seeing a pretty different roster coming here tonight. I should also mention, I almost forgot to mention that Killerbot was picked up. But Bushido Banzai, who's, if you know about Killbot, he's a main support player, plays a lot of the Lucio, and he's here tonight also, uh, on Bushido Banzai's side. I almost forgot him. Um, now, if I may, if I may ask Chuck, uh, what, which, out of all these new pickups of Bushido, which one are you excited to see come out and play here tonight? Neo, 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 Neo. That's what I'm excited right, well. for. <laughs> I, I mean to be honest, like I just haven't seen uh, Neo play like a while, like in a in a league game, so I'm actually kind of excited to see that. So. Yeah, he he played for if I'm, if I'm correct. Um, I was I'm a bit I'm a bit out of the loop here, but after he left B E Beast Edition, after he left Beast Edition, he went to uh, Pizza, correct? And is that, am I, I right about that? He he was there for like I think the last of, I think the rest of that season. Okay, and. And he went, and, after, and then he took a break after that. I know that he took a break, and now he's with Shido Bonsai. Um, I'm very excited to see what is what what what, what, what how this is gonna go down tonight. But with, with this, uh, like I said, this new squad and this, these new pickups. Um, sorry, 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 I was uh, got, got a bit sloppy there. My but I apologize on my part there. I was just I just noticed that we are we have both rosters on both sides listed for both Shido Bonsai and TFC. So, so, if you're a TFC fan, you better get excited because Prof is, once again, starting uh, starting here on the main tank. Chubb coming in on the side on the other tank. We are also going to have Mr. Link and I L Ill Weakness uh, with Gil, Gary, and Big, uh, Big O coming in on the support line. On the, on the side of Bushido Banzai, we are, we are 100%. Oh, never mind. We're not going to see all the new, new pieces coming out here. Instead, we're going to be seeing our demo Hungo on the tanks. Uh... But Neil ne 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 Golden King and Chaotic for DPS, and Katie, KDB and Booker Sowers on the support. So that's gonna be on both starting rosters here. And I gotta say, uh, if there's any roster you're gonna play Neil, or I should say any map, I should say you're gonna play Neil on, I definitely boost on. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of good points to play that McCree, a lot of fantastic points to play that that, that Doomfist, at least in my opinion, especially. Um, but especially a mecha base um, um, here in Busan. It's just so many great, so many walls you can play around to get the punch kills and so much. And then the high ground favors doing this quite favorably. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Okay, let me see. Let's see here. All right. And there'll be a couple of moments here as I get everything uh, set a little uh, roster rise. All right, uh, sounds good. Sounds good. Um, something that um, something that I'm a bit interested in. I might be wrong about this, but if I'm correct, there was also some beef between Neil Goldkin and Ill Weakness. Was it Ill Weakness? I don't remember. It was in general chat. I, I was, you know, I've been a bit kind of busy with college this past week. I won't lie, but I was scrolling through late late late, late at night. Late night, and I saw a deal. Deal, and I think it was. I think it was ill weakness beefing about their doom fist. So I'm actually kind of interested to see if both of these players are gonna pop out doom fist. The go get go against each other here. 
Yeah, it will uh, definitely be interesting there. Yeah, because, yeah. like, I mean, the reason I keep saying interesting, right, is you don't really see Doomfist that much, right? Because Doomfist has been kind of out of the meta. Oh, Esdip's coming back in. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, Kanok, Kanok for Esdip. Uh, Chuck. Oh, they did switch that. Okay, I'm so sorry. It's all good, it's all good. Uh, but... Doomfist is not really a play, a play character recently, as you know the meta has not favored him. Um, we've been seeing a lot of tracer. We, we still we've we, we, we still been seeing the, the that tracer ash, even though after those ash nerfs, you know, ash is still not a terrible pick for a lot of teams. We've been seeing a lot more McCree, which is also pretty cool to see, and a lot of Hanzo too. Uh, but Doomfist, not really. He's seen a lot of teams like to run the Sombra here in Oasis. So you know, if there's any time you're gonna see Doomfist tonight, it is gonna be on this map. And these two teams. I can imagine either of them running it. Uh, it's not pretty. So like I said, it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, you, I keep repeating it, repeating that, but gosh darn, it's just it's just, it's just, it's true. It's, but one thing I will say also is it's also going to be a very telling game. Uh, Bushido Banzai, right? This team has not had a lot of time to scrim, at least to my knowledge, when I was talking to some Tier 2 caps. They haven't had a lot of time to scrim with Neo and uh, I'm not sure about Esdip, but with Neo. So Neo is kind of starting here on with, not with a lot of time with the team. So I'm very interested to see if he's if if he's able to mesh with his team well with with, with only playing so very few scrims with them, or 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 you know or if they're going to potentially have to bench him if that's the case. I'm very, it's gonna be it's, I'm very curious to see what how this is going to go down here tonight. But what, what, what going back to what I was saying before, what I mean by very telling is. If Bushido performs well here against TFC, or even potentially beat TFC, this is it's good. this is going to be a, this, this is going to be a very telling uh, change in like power rankings and team improvement, which is from simply two pickups. I, that, might, that might be jumping up the gun here, but I'm saying I'm saying if the, I should add the word if that happens. Uh, we have. We got a ready from the side of match chat two. Or match chat two, I am. T oh my, I, I guess I sh I'm very tired here today. Uh, we got a ready from the side from TFC. Okay. So we got we got two readies. No, 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 not two readies. We have only a ready from the side of TFC. Okay. Uh, Katie is typing though, so I'm assuming that's gonna be a ready on the side of Bushido Banzai coming up soon. Oh, and there it is. Both raised on both sides now. <sighs> Alright. So well, I'm also very interested to see what what's gonna what's gonna be happening here. Yeah, but Shudo Bonsai, they haven't run a lot of ball comps. And I'm very interested to see if they if they're gonna pop us a ball against TFC here. Um, I mean, it would favor it would definitely favor the hero pool of Neo. Uh, and also chaotic coming in here, so it would definitely favor the chaotic hero pool. So very interested to see what they can get out of that. All right, so here we go. First map, we're heading into we're heading to Korea for Busan. Uh, I, I, I say it before, but a very pretty map. Uh, kind, of, well, kind of boring in some aspects, but it's still a very pretty map. Uh, with how it looks design-wise. And and look at that. Starting on Mecha Base here tonight. Oh my goodness. It's just like the god the gods heard us, Chuck. They're like, you know what? <laughs> this I kind of want to see some Doomfist coming out of Neo. Let's get it, and that's exactly what we're going to see on the side of Bushido Bonsai, oh, wow. Neo Golden King, getting on the Doomfist here alongside the Sombra. So we are going to see a Hack Fist actually coming out here from Bushido. Uh, TFC, writing the, 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 writing the standard, the Ryan Zarya, what they're comfortable with. Master Link getting on his signature McCree. But a big te 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 Techno, oh, I'm just going to call him Big O for short, is going to be playing that, that Lucio, with that speed here. Alright, early engagement from both sides. Uh, however, looking at like that bubble from the side of, of Chubb, Chubb, Matt Damon, getting a lot more value. Instantly, Diva, uh, Hugo, Hugo is down, Diva follows, and then goes the tank line. Diva dives in and trying to get some of Chubb, Matt Damon, but Matt Damon is not having it. 
he was melted, and that is a good move. That's looking like an early cap, and Prof is teabagging the staircase, and it's looking like he's teabagging Katie. No, he's teabagging the diva, it looks like. Quick and quick team fight win coming to the side of this TFC roster. Uh, especially, I gotta say, one thing I gotta, one thing I gotta point out is look at Max Suits Ultra Tier. This man, this McCree takes some shot almost at 80% here on the high noon. Okay, like Phoenix trying to boot him, but the EMP, but now we're gonna pick and he finds, he finds the ladder. Ill weed is down for the cow. No tire could be coming in for this fight. However, the front line is still going strong with this turn for content roster. Shatter comes through, but the bubble and our demo blocks the shatter. Punish comes in from Neo, not finding much side hammer. High noon. On the staircase, but he gets hacked out of it. But that's hacked coming from the sombra inside of Bushi uh, Bushido. This is if you're Bushido, this is, this is your Riku test. You gotta go in. But Katie goes in a bit too early, drops off the high ground, gets, and gets melted by Matt Damon. The, the trades are going value on the side of TFC. Book of Star Wars does fight Master Leak, however, but I won't think that's gonna change much here. Um, Ma Master Leak should be coming, should be coming in before the next team fight. Yeah, the, the alts have been kind of like uh, in between the both teams, like they've been kind of holding them on. I'm oh really excited God. to see what happens. Yeah. Indeed, I got the game they just got there. The ult has been the game, they've been holding his ult just by a piece of reason why. They wanted, they wanted to hold this, the side they wanted to hold this ult so they get that big EMP shadow combo, which they got successfully done. Absolutely humongous. But, nah, but here's the only one problem, Chuck. They, 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 if you look at the look at, look at the other ones here, Hunko is Hunko because he's got that late soccer Saria is still in, he has an 80% here on the ground. But look at Star Rose, the, only a 60% to a beat here. And, and this is and if you look at Matt Demon's Matt Demon here, he's gonna have that grab. And at the end of the day, there's no beat to that grab at all. Shatter comes out, blocked by Ardemo. The counter grab looking be quite mighty, and indeed it is. The beat comes up with big tech to Kino, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Booker Star does get a beat in time, but the tire swaying that beat out to find the early pickings. It's looking like it's gonna find one, indeed it does. Book out for the fight, and it, even though it looks like this man of one team fight, TFC is recontest. Windows put Windows juice, but that's a bit of an aggressive window. And Gary, he's down by Neo. And even though with the team are turning this fight around, it's, it's more like the opposite. Hungo does Hungo does absolutely absolutely kill himself, however. Doesn't matter. Our demo is in and in and for the count. Hey, and him and Neo, they're gonna find these pickings. And and just like that, we're at 60% already. And we already have another EMP and and another uh seismic uh oh, seismic slim, my bad. Uh Doom Fistle. Coming out from both DPS here. EMP. He didn't be pop, but and Prof is still going in. That's why Booker Star Wars However, He is taken out by Neo, and we are about to get. To, we're actually about to get a tied percentage coming from both of these sides. That's huge plays by both teams right there. Indeed, and Chuck, I gotta say, even though the old, the old, the ults did not look great for the side of Bushido, they used, they have used these ults perfectly. They, they like, for example, they only had to use the EP to win a team fight against TFC. Shatter is used, doesn't fight much value, but Neo is in that back, but he fights Gary! The value more than that, to free over here, Reinhardt, that's free Sweeney's and the Devo will take full advantage of that! Wow. Big, big O. That was great. Tries and what? Big O tries to touch, but he gets moved by the coalescence, and win, and, and look at that! Bushido! They, they're able to hold from 0 to 99 and take the first map! Or take the- I should, Oh my goodness, Chuck! I mean, like I said, I I was I was I was expecting from how dominant TFC were in the beginning, but them to take the mecha base there. But the old tracking and I mean, the old usage, I should say, and the ag aggressive play that was around Neo was very well done compared to Bushido Bonsai. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Matt, here we go, Rats here coming in here. Swap's coming up, up. Chubb, Matt, Damien, getting off the Zarya, going for a D.Va here. Potentially to contest, have a bit of an easier time potentially contesting the Sombra, I'm assuming. 
we're actually like, still on the McCree. Uh, never, never, like I said, like I said before, one of his best picks. Never a bad pick coming from Master Link. That McCree is it. Um, however, it's gonna be a bit interesting. The point control looking like it's already gonna be taken by Bushido. However, Illuminus is in this back way. He finds, he finds the headshot on the killer of Chaotic Phoenix and Neo dead. That's all the damage got. That's all she broke the damage on the side of Bushido. If you're, if you are TFC, you got to go in now. Gary finds KB, but the Shadow of Demo is grand. Prophet, prophetic, prophetic is down, but however, this team fight is still looking in favor of the side of TFC. The numbers are there for them, and indeed, indeed, weakness will find two, and the swap will immediately go in favor for the side of TFC. I gotta say, uh, Prophetic being one of our better Reinhardt players, I mean, a bit of a challenge. Have game getting a challenge today against our demo. However, he's about to get our, our, our legendary Rhyme player here is about to get a shatter. Getting aggressive here, Prophetic going for the that shatter. Who wants to pop to keep Prophetic up? What a brilliant post connection for the Book of Star Wars. Shatter comes out and it fights Hongo. A back a back half is having chaotic, but the contest is there from from Matt Damon. Perfect play coming for the diva. Then knock that, knock him out of the contestion. All right, there's Tifa coming in here. Old advantage, looking in favor of Sai Bushido. They have the EP coming out, and they also have the Nano, which I'm assuming they're gonna nail the Star here or Doomfist here. Uh, I would, uh, it would be definitely a smart play to do for the Nano. EMP now built up, but he has to, he has, but Keonic has to re, has to re-teleport. He is spotted by the D.Va. anti nail onto Prophetic, the Prophetic has to back up, but he can't back up in time because the EMP is there! Beetle, perfectly timed, perfectly timed, big, big O! Getting the EMP really good. Fantastic play for support on the side of, on the side of TFC. However, Neo Snipe is played perfectly tight with the grab. It's not the beat, it's not enough to understand that damage. Neo fights three. However, he gets taken out by Masculine. The DPS still alive for TFC in the, as they're about to hit 90%. Swipe me to KDB and Masculine is still alive. 1 HP. Fans of Hammerton fights KD. However, he's taken out by Hungo. But Kasawa is also back to the fight. Finds the Deoc tank here. And Prof. He is not going to be pushing that. He's going to, lot, he's going to let that go. And, it, and, it, and it's honestly a smart play coming from the main tank on the side of TFC. You are at 99%. You almost have the ult to re-push re that. You do not need to keep pushing in. So, so smart, some smart play coming from TFC to just back up. However, but you know, they had a pop up couple ults there, but they are gaining some in the advantage. So portals both ready. And, the, and also the shatter ready for our demo. Neo tries to get a seismic slam in, but he gets up, but he gets cut off by the flash bait, and he is down! Shadow comes from Prop, and it's a massive one! However, KDB's, KDB's ult, the Kong Kami Ha, it melts him, and our demon with that nano sets full value, he gets two! And even though the, that combo coming from the side of TMC was so grand, Bushido still won the team fight. I mean, the, the alt use, especially on Bushido Bonsai this last part, has been really good. I mean, they've been really been able to, to use those in a good combination. Indeed. I don't think I, will, I have to agree with you on that one, Chuck. Especially, but I will say one problem is they had to use four ults there. So they're not going to have this grab to take advantage of, and I hope they will take full advantage of that grab. Hongo pushes in, finds two. Nade comes out onto the tanks, and there goes Prop and Matt Damon. And look at Rape. It's so much like a repeat of Mecha Base right now. We're about to hit. We're about to hit those 99 marks again. Our Diva has a shaft built up. Prop is on the wrecking ball. He has to touch. He cannot be hacked by this Spice Phoenix. He is not. Instead, Big O is hacked. The contestant coming through. Shatter is massive, and that's looking like it might be game here. Bomb though is coming out. This might be massive. Looking like get someone, it does it. And Bushido Bonsai walk forward. Is all. Gary tries to stall as long as he can, but he cannot. He is melted down by the hammer of the ride, and that Holy is a team kill. Cow. And Bushido, they take map one. That, that is quite unexpected, uh, coming from that, but a lot of people, like I said, were expecting 
intent, especially with the beam wars type Bushido, was expecting that 4 0 from TFC. I gotta say one thing, Chuck, I'm pretty sure a lot of those fantasy leagues, fantasy lead predictions are both. Wow. I've just been real good from that one map being taken. All the stocks, all the stocks today. Yo, that was a. What a great first round. I, I can't wait to see these other maps tonight. That was a great first map. Oh, man. My goodness. I gotta say, too. Just the ult tracking from Machido. I think that's real what they was able to make them hold. Right. They, 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 they tracked their ults. They knew what ults they wanted to use. Every team fight. They, they were planned. They popped them. And they got full value out of those ults because they knew what they wanted to do with each one of those ults. Very well done coming from the Bushido. I also gotta say, I'm really liking this new this new aggressiveness we're seeing from the Bushido Bonsai roster here. Uh, this roster, my biggest problem about them was their passive nature originally. They they play these rush down comps, but mm. play them very passively and Robinson get run over usually. But here tonight, Bushido, they're not playing around. They they look fresh and new. TFC, I think they're caught off I don't think they were expecting that. Mm -mm. I don't think they were expecting it either. And I, I think especially um, I would. It's gonna be a really fun competition tonight. Oh yeah, it's. I gotta, I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, this is. We call, we're gonna call, we call this. We call, this one's gonna be, like Chuck said, a hell of a game. <laughs> uh, all right, swaps coming in. Legit hammers coming in for ill weakness and mo and the, a support line swap. But Wiser, everybody's favorite tier three main tank god, coming in on on the support, and Mooncat coming in alongside Buttweiser on the on the, the support for the side of TFC. No swaps inside of Bushido Bonsai. But I gotta say, I wouldn't be surprised if we, have, we don't see any swaps. That this Bushido, that Bushido roster looked very clean with their execution. Sorry for the silence. I was uh, time soaking in stream team there uh, about updating the score. Um, sorry about that. I am I'm back. Um, <laughs> so um, oh, man, 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 I'm this is gonna, this is gonna be such a, a great game. I, I know I, I keep repeating myself, but I'm I was so excited to cast this game. You can ask Chuck. I called dibs. I called dibs the instant I saw I heard this game was happening for this map this this week. Uh, especially because the map type. I'm gonna be real with you, ladies and gentlemen. This map type. The, the, the favors fa is, actually favors Bushido Bonsai quite favorably with the hero pools they, or the characters they, they want to play. So TFC, like I said, our best team in the league. But I'm, this is going to be uh, this is, my opinion. This is going to be a, actually a close game between the two. I also gotta say, uh, I also gotta say that uh, the hall, the hall monitor himself, prophetic, prophetic, uh, kind of get, uh, it's a bit, it's very early on to say, but prophetic, kind of got, he kind of got, M got MTD there by our demo. I, I, just, I think what it was came down to, I don't think they were expecting, like, there's a lot of things going on there. Yeah, um, I, 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 that, that's definitely true. Like I said, it was a. Uh, a, I, I, I'm, I'm more saying that for you know the the memes and the shit, the little the, the, the giggles, but I, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that, Chuck. Uh, prof, <laughs> that I think I, honestly this, this might sound shocking. I think it was more of the hack fist comp. They were they were definitely expected to do, which is why they run the, they ran the McCree because they were expected to do fist. But the hack fist I think is what caught TFC off guard, especially because Chaotic Phoenix doesn't. I mean, at least to my knowledge. From knowing Chaotic Phoenix, from playing Chaotic Phoenix in the past, and knowing their, oh, excuse me, knowing their their hero pool, they're no, they're no, Chaotic usually plays more like the McCree, and like the and the the Ash, more than like the the Somber. Yeah, so, I, I, that was a uh, that was outside what I've understood what they played as well. 
Yeah, so very interesting. Oh, so we, we have some actually major swaps for uh, coming from Bushido. Uh, Tank line will be staying the same, but Chaotic and Neo Golden King are getting subbed out here. Esdiff and Perts and Pertso coming in for Blizzard World uh, with Killer Bot and Gla 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 Glass, right? Yes, Glass. <laughs> we'll be coming in on support line, so our entire swap on supports in DPS. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked with the Neo, Neo getting swapped out here. Because, uh, you know, Neo, because Doomfist, I think, is pretty good on this first map. Even potentially on the, uh, not really much of the second map, but, you know, Neo could go on that Doom, I mean, go on that McCree if needed. But on that third, on the third map on Blizzard World, that Doomfist is pretty good. So, I wonder what they have planned here for, with Esdiff. As Def, you know, he's more known for, like I said before, he's known for that hard hit scan roll. He's known for that McCree. He's known for that Ash. Sometimes that Torbjorn. And I saw, I've seen it come out as Dev here and there back in the the, the Duck Duck Goats uh, era. Right, we're ready, ready for readies on both sides now. I'm just making sure I have the rosters correct for this map. One second, let me also pull up chat. Forgot to do that. Should be set. Okay, there we go. Chat is pulled up. I had a had a wrangle for that one right there. Uh. Yeah, uh, this is. I'm very interested also what's going on with TFC here. Because like on the side of TFC, you know, they have they have legit hammers coming in, and legit legit hammers. He's a they are extremely extremely good torpedo if I'm correct. Um, I haven't seen much of them personally because I uh I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I'm not really most of their games. So I'm very really curious what they're gonna be what they're, what he's gonna be coming out here for and what he's gonna play. Uh, for the TFC roster. Yeah, I I honestly think that uh, TFC was is it's gonna really I'll it'll be interested to see how they respond to this second map, especially uh, I'll I would like to see what uh Pashido Bonsai is gonna pull out for this Blizzard World as well. Yeah, I actually with <laughs> with Fujit Hammers in. And as Diffin, you know, you think we're gonna see uh, you guys think we're we're gonna see some Torbjorn, do to Torbjorn Dittos? I hope so. Be pretty, I'll be pretty entertaining. I won't lie, I've seen two Torbjorns hitting their hammers, like Balloon Tower <laughs> Defense Six coming in here, just whacking the whacking their, their turrets and shooting each other. Uh, we got the readies as well. Uh, tempo. All right, all right, let's get into this then. All right, here we go. Blizzard World, everybody's Welcome favorite theme park that is on par with, uh, if, if it was real, would be probably on par with Disney. But look at the architecture of this place. Like, holy God. They have, like, fly, they like, I know it's like, I know, like, Overwatch takes place like, 2070 or something, something like that. But, like, the technology and, like, the architecture is still, I think, pretty insane for future standards. Like, look, you got, like, flying pyrons and stuff like that. Absolutely insane. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, let's get back a get back a check on my part. Uh, TFC, they're gonna be on the attack here. They're gonna be whipping out the same this this, this the the right Zarya, you know, there's the, the what basically the same tank that they, they usually run. Uh you know, if it, if it ain't broke, they'll fix it. Um Master Link getting on the McCree once again, his his tried and true hero. But bunch of hammers. He's gonna be pointing the Hanzo here. Uh, a pick I, I really like actually. I I, I, I think Hanzo is such an underrated DPS right now. I'm actually I'm always shocked to see DPS not play the Hanzo as often as they do in tier two. But so but here we go. Legit hammers will be on that roll. Uh, the side and the side of Bushido, the, the, the Sigma coming from Hung coming out from Hungo and Esdef will be in the Torbjorn. Torbjorn. We'll also, you see a Batiste coming from Killer Bob and a and a Hana. Very interesting combo with the Batiste Hana there. Instead of coming from Bushido Bonsai. 
All right, TFC rotating right. They want to, they want to wait for that speed to get aggressive on but from but yeah, so the, so they're probably gonna wait this for quarter here. That's exactly what they're doing. Prof playing around quarter, waiting for the speed boost. He gets rocked out over if he's able to be kept up from Moomcat. Fantastic heals coming from the from the Batista side of TFC. All right. Shield down on Prophetic side, and our Devo so low, but the first blood leap from Glass of all people, Nate comes through, gets sniped past the shield, hits Buttweiser, and you're down on Lucio. TFC, they know, they know over right, over right Zarya comp, the Lucio's ever seen, they're gonna back up. However, Prop is stunned, he is low. Yeah, however, the peel from the, from the off tank and from Mooncat is, is grand, and Prop's able to get out alive. Fantastic peel coming up from the side of the TFC tanks and supports. Our Demo has shatter ready. He's gonna be looking for a shatter here on trying to find his opening. But however, the op oh, first opening won't be from our Demo. It will be from Ez Black Damon. Shatter Flux combo comes out. It's huge. And that's how and that's gonna be a wipe coming from Bushido Bonsai. TFC, they're scrambling back. Bushido Bonsai tonight is like they've been coming for it. They, this is their game. Right. I like it. I love Indeed. to see it. I love to see it. I love when team teams like come at each other like this. Like right off the bat. I and I gotta say, Chuck, I gotta say quickly, but man, that look at this old usage. They pop both tank ults, but DPS ults, support ults get held. That old whoever's old tracking on this roster is doing a brilliant job with Shino's side. All right, Nano, Nano, and comes out on the tour. Your multi core not gonna find much. TFC do the smart thing here. They're just gonna back out. They don't want to come for the multi core. But the the, 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 the Nano Tor finds Butt. Butt is down first again. TFC, they have the ults here. They have, have all six on the board. They just gotta use them. They gotta use them in the in the correct order. They don't want to blow them all at once. All right, but what? But why is there back in the fight now? Now TFC, now with their Lucio, they know that you're gonna be they're gonna go back in. They could contest. Demo, he's not happy. He pushes it, puts down again! High new comes up behind it. It's okay, it's actually a pretty big one. At the link, that's fine, glad. Fire strike comes in, however, and the high new is cancelled. The shatter is big for prophetic. Grab comes out from from Matt Damon and their Grable is down, but the shatter might not go in pain. Hungo Perso coming in hot. Hugo just going and throws a rock as Dev is coming back in on this with the, the multi-core popped on their overworld and Hungo is just heading head. They do trade, however. Chum Matt Damon Hungo trade beat pop from but uh, from Buttweiser. But they can't kill as Diff. And in fact, it's Buttweiser who dies. This and and now TFC they these fights tempo. Right. I, six ults, Chuck. Six ults, Chuck. And that's all I gotta say. And TFC still don't even get a tip. Right. TFC coming in here on the right side. They want to, they want to pick out our demo. The our demo's been getting over aggressive a lot of these points. And they want to cap us on that over aggression of our demo. How the multi course not gonna allow that? And that demo's out of the open. He's by himself. Pin comes in the prop on the nano or demo. My god, new much shatter is fantastic. And prop does find glass from that. Basically coming from the right side. Finds as if for the nano ride. This this our demo is absolutely being oh. insane right now. And they fall all TFC. Bushido oh. Bonsai. Oh my goodness. Zero. Zero. Switching sides. Amazing. Initiating match. Also, a note out there as well as everyone: make sure that you text your mom back. Uh, good, <laughs> good timing. It's always good to text your mom on time anytime they text you, so you know. I, uh, I ch ch Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> oh man, I, may I ask the context? <laughs> Sorry, my mom was texting me. I was just like looking at my. I was looking your at my mom's phone. texting your girlfriend. Are you, text her? <laughs> you, heard okay. it here, you heard it here. You heard it here. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck prefers <laughs> prefers the dead game. Overwatch over his mom. <laughs> over his mom. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love. I love.
This game ain't dead. No, I love it. No. Love it. Love this Overwatch. Oh, and and I love my mom as well. <laughs> I mean, Chuck loves his mom too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doe Barrier coming on the side of TFC. Uh, Prophetic, this is uh, this is uh, well, this is uh, the Arisa God, God himself coming out here. <laughs> Matt Damon getting onto the onto the, the Sigma. And look at this, guys! Let Master ha let it hammers and ends them. We got a Torbjorn duel happening here. It's what we always wanted. Alright, Master Link on this top left high ground, being pocketed by Moomcat, trying to get an early, an early damage to this Dynamite to get that Ultra Tower. Dynamite doesn't find much, and Master Link just has to rotate immediately off that high ground. Oshido coming in right side, but the pull on the support is great from Prof. That's going to delay things quite a bit. And with no speed on the side, on the speed side of Oshido from Lucio, they're going to have to wait for her pick. And there it is, Herzl headshot onto Master Link. The poke it, the poking game is getting, is actually, is, the only problem right now is they're gonna play a poking game now, and if you know anything about Devil Shield, Devil Shield always wins the poke! Hongo gets over, gets aggressive, but he gets rocked, and he's taken up by Bloodweiser! Legit Hammer's turret is pounding away, Kirobot is down, Hurts does fight Master League, but it still should be a reset coming from the side of Bushido, that's indeed what happens. Bushido backs out behind the statue. If you have Bushido Banzai right now, you cannot play this poking slow game against a Devil Barrier, especially a team like TFC, who have a fantastic Devil Barrier. They're some of the best, one of the best Devil Barrier teams in this league right now. And you, can, you just cannot play that poking game against it. You gotta go aggressive when you get a pick like that. Window is up, it's melting those barriers. Aradimo has to back out. Hungo eats most of it. But Killbot cut in the open. He's got the hide behind the stand. That's the link going behind them. I don't think they know about he's going behind the bomb. Window is pop, bomb, do it, bomb. It's might be doing something here. But he's felt it with my personal. Multicore force combo is going quite grand. Devo is down, but the picks are going to be in favor of Machine over right now. However, I might be wrong of Killbot being picked out with the headshot of a jet hammers. That's gonna look like an immediate rage set coming to reset coming from the side of Machine. That fight, there's so many different sides to that fight. I, I was like, I was trying to like help you out, like try to do some calls as well. But like that was, it was like I, 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 I was one side I thought was gonna win that, but the other one was off. Shatter here. Shatter is shatter absolutely huge. And with the combined effort, just kind of that dragon there, you know. Gonna do a lot of damage for your person just going popping off this kill feed. Double force kill. Not even the slight that kills it, the lift, the lift off kills it. And this is the way Bushido's gonna be able to put a clean this up here. And indeed they do. And Bushido Banzai now 2 0 in this series and gets EFC. Bushido has came out tonight. Wow. <laughs> sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm laughing. I'm laughing at your wows, Chuck. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, this is like crazy. Like not like crazy like obviously these teams are, are, are great like I love to watch like two teams like like chase each other at this level but like it's just it's just like amazing that like it's just like it's a great great game yeah and like like I was bringing up before it's like all this 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 roster this BB roster looks completely different from when they looked like last week. Or two weeks ago, I should say, because last week was tier three. <laughs> two weeks ago, I, mean, I should say. Play, the play uh, is different too. I just—it's these. New, I gotta say, Chuck, it's definitely these new pickups. It is ref new pickups always revitalize energy into a team roster. I think anybody that's played this game can agree with that, right? Always ha having these new pieces always brings brings in this mood and this more passion that the team that some teams that usually some players might lose after being like uh, such a rough state that Bushido was in for quite a bit. And I gotta say, like I said, these two pickups, uh, Esdiff and Dio, doing wonders. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they feel more, Bushido, they're playing more aggressive now because they feel more comfortable playing aggressive with these two players. Uh, Neo, you know, has been playing that Doomfist, being one of the, one of my, like I said before, might be one of the uh, best mechanic, mechanical players in tier two. And Esdiff, you know, just being a classic player, really one over that hit scan role. And just that Bushido would just be able to play perfectly around that aggressive play. And. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, what I'm, what I'm trying to say, because I'm stumbling over my own words, 
I'm just very, I'm very impressed for how different this Bushido Bonsai roster books and for only having a week, a week or two to scrim with these new pieces and how they're able to integrate these pieces into the roster. Uh, however, the series is still 2-0. I should, I should say quickly. And, and TFC, they can reverse sweep, sweep this easily. We've seen TFC go to some close games against, like, yes. for example, Rogue Knights. And TFC were able to take it out in the end. These, these guys, and this is the one thing I know about TFC, these guys don't give up without a fight. They are always in the game. They are, that's why they're one of our best teams in tier two. They just, they have some, one of the best mentalities and they just go straight in and it's into any game. They never get boomed and they just go straight in. At least from an outside, I should say from an outside point, from an outside point of view, that's what it seems like. So TFC, you definitely feel the reverse sweep. This is not, it's not, it's definitely not out in the, out of the cards. But I, 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 I'm seeing a lot of people in chat like, feel, like shocked about this. And I gotta say, once again, the reason, the, the one thing I'm seeing from Bushido, the biggest change is execution. Their execution of ults, the execution of plays. They're, it's a lot cleaner. This is, I don't know what happened with Bushido or who, they, like, or what's the change was, but it's um, the, this, the chain, their execution, their ult usage has been cleaned up dramatically. This team is, Bushido right now is looking like they know what they want to do, what they want to commit to, what they know they can commit to, what they know they can't commit to, etc., etc. And TFC, it's not no slack against them because you know usually it's like a lot of people think there's like a like a like a black and white viewpoint where it's kind of like you know like oh Bushido's doing good, TFC doing bad. But I don't think TFC is really doing that bad. TFC they looked pretty good so far execution wise. They're old usage too, not bad either. It's been very well done. I just think I I just really think TFC is really caught off guard about this aggressive play, especially coming out from the, the tank line. Hungo, just, Hungo and Demo, especially just getting into the faces of Prof and Matt Damon. All right, so we have some. I think we have some swaps. We have, we have some swaps coming in here. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. So on the side of TFC, we're gonna see Prof and Ch Prof and uh, Matt Damon staying in. Uh, Ill weakness. How ill weakness will be coming in though, along with alongside Link, who we staying in, and Big O and Jerry coming in and back in on the support line. On the side of BB on BB. Demo Hungo staying on the tank line, uh, but we're gonna see Chaotic and Neo coming back, up, coming back in with Book and Katie coming in on the support. So I mean, that's another thing I gotta, I gotta mention quickly. Another big change Wait, about BB I noticed sides. that. Uh, yes, did, 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 did you swap sides? <coughs> I'm gonna do it right now. All right, nice. That that's another thing I gotta mention here. Notice one big thing about, about that Bushido is doing here is. They're playing supports with supports. They're playing these DPS with DPS. And what I mean by this, what I mean by this, I should say, is we're, like they're not they're not just like being like they're not like okay we're swapping out KDB for uh we're gonna swap out KDB randomly for Killerbot or anything like that. They have these sets of they have sets of teams they're playing here. It's very similar if you ever if you watch if you if any of you ever watched like Overwatch League of season two. Think of this. Think of it kind of like what uh, Soul Dynasty did with uh, with what they had like fish. They had like Fisher uh, and Michelle, and they had like, Zumba and Marvel on the tank line, right? And they would always play. They would always sub in like Marvel Zumba, right? For example, and they have Fisher Michelle, and they were, and then later on they swapped it when they made it like Fisher Zumba, and they had uh, Michelle and Marvel come in. Right, and they always have those two tanks playing together, and they always have the other two playing together to give like give like more of that consistency, more of that understanding of how how they play around together, how they play around how how they play around with each other, and you know all of that. And be, and Bushido Bonsai, it seems like that's what they're committed to, and they're doing now with you know Keanu Reeves and Neo coming in together, being like that's a DPS duo, and Bukasaro was in KDB on the support line, and that's a, that's a support duo, and they have they have another support duo they put on certain maps that favor certain map types. 
I, it's, it's, it's a it's a consistency and it's a change. I'm I don't mind at all seeing Bushido Bonsai at all because this was this was definitely a team that needed that. They needed that. They needed this, that more consistency towards the, towards them. All right, we have we have Reddy's coming out on the side of Bushido Banzai. No Reddy's yet, however, on the side of TFC. Uh, Ray, when I say that, however, the Prophetic, Sir Prophetic, um, monitor the our, our hall monitor and best main take tier two. Uh, I'm reading, I'm reading his uh self his title here on Discord has just gave us the Reddy. So we have Reddy's on both sides now. And uh, just to confirm, the the map where next is Hanamura, is that correct? Uh, no, it's Volskaya. Okay, well, th there we go. We almost, well, that almost happened. You know, you know what they say, you, uh, you almost <laughs> make the mistake, you win some, or you, you almost make the mistake some. Oh, you, by the way, Chuck, 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 uh, did you get uh, glass? Glass is a part of uh, Bushido. Fixing it right now. Alright. Okay, everyone should be on the right sides. Everything's right. We should be ready. Alright, here. Alright, third map, but maybe potentially a final map, but she don't get this. Not final map, I forgot. I, I figured, I'm thinking of Overwatch League rules. Potentially could be a match point, I should say, for TFC if TFC cannot take Volskaya here. Traveling to All right, the sky map three. You, and thank you, stream, for putting up with us tonight. I'm, I'm in a interesting mood tonight, and so I've been. Uh, that's kind of why the stream's been kind of like here and there. But I'm glad that you've been here for us tonight, and we have tempo with me, of course. And let's go into third map. Indeed, here we go. Here we go, Chuck. Uh, Volskaya Industries. I'm pretty sure this is like 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 very similar to Gibraltar. You absolutely adore this map, correct? Uh, actually, you know, if I could marry any two maps in the world, it'd be this map and Nepal. Oh, really? You would marry this map? That's yeah, crazy. I'd, I'd marry both of those. I'd... That's cra yeah. That's crazy, Chuck. I, I didn't know that. See, I thought, I, I thought you... I, what about Gibraltar? You're just gonna leave... Watch put Gibraltar? Uh, that's a mistress. Oh, okay. I see, I see. All right, here we go. Prophetic coming, go staying up. Prophetic getting on the Arisa here. In fact, they're gonna be going to a double shield. Actually, something that actually I should say, something I really like coming out here. Master Link, gonna be on the Fara, Fara doing Neo, uh, Neo here. He will be on the Fara pick also. Bushido running this Ryan Zarya with the Devil Bird. Something I'm not personally a big fan of. Devil Bird. I think you only, you only really need one to his kind of scary. So I'm very interested to see how this goes out here. Master Link finds the first pick, however, opening. Chaotic is down. Res comes out from KDB, but that's a res burn that early in a team fight. Boop is fantastic with Neil, however, and the Devil Baron now is playing on low ground. Crawford, however, has the fortify ready. He is going to stay up. That Risa being quite a tough cookie to crack. Crawford is how it's down, however, Master, but ill weakness fights Chaotic once again. A boop kill coming from Neil. Finding a second on Gary. Neo Lorkey going straight in. But I'm looking for Master Link. But Master Link is not going out of a fight. He wants to, he wants to keep this going for TFC. Hongo walks in and fights Chum Matt Damon. Master Link almost has the barrage. He has to stay alive and wait for his team. But he's getting one of the direct from Neo onto him. Barrage comes out, but he's melted. And Bushido with the first push takes the first point. I, I think uh, TFC is uh, on the stream right here, but they're, they're going to try to hold it here and keep it together with the same uh, comps before. They're going to try to hold it with that. It's be very interesting. They are, they are going to go with the double hit scan though, which I think is quite smart. They're also going to go off the double barrier, because they have to favor more of that Reinsard, the, the mirror of the Reinsard area. 
understandable because your PFC is one of our best friends on your team, so they're extremely good at this at this uh, tank comp. Alright, prophetic. Can you get can you push it? However, Master Link will find open kill here here on the off the main tank. This, this is your opening. Shatter, perfectly timed block coming from Prophetic. And our demon won't find much. He is dead, however, but and he will be able to kill Prophetic. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Are we seeing, are we seeing a turn? Neo is still alive, the grab used, and Neo finds the value out of that grab. Matt Dame is still alive, however, KDP is pistoling on the ground. She is melted. And just when I thought, and just when I, like that, that crazy team fight goes in favor of TFC. We were able to be able to hold that there. However, Prophetic will be getting a reset on Old Charge. He got on the Wrecking Ball of the Rika Test. Now back on that Reinhardt, he's not going to have a Shatter ready for a demo. That Damon does have the grab ready, so if, if you're Prophetic, you want to build, you want to build a Shatter off of that grab. That's your main game plan if you're the Reinhardt here. Master Link almost has a high noon ready also, which is actually quite bad for this double bird comp. It's gonna put a lot of pressure on onto Chaotic and Neo with that high noon up. Bob, Bob popped out, and then Neo comes in from behind it with a massive rush. He is taken out by Matt Damon, however. Techno, Rez is weakness, and I don't believe he'll res on Neo. That's good. That might be a that might be a fear reset. Yeah, is still committing, however, he's gonna come, he's gonna pop. This Bob, this duplicate, I should say. But I don't know how I feel about that. The duplicate taking out instantly, and the with that grab in here with the nano ride. I think that's gonna be a clean up for TFC, and indeed it is. On the side of Bushido, I guess that was a bit of a sloppy ult usage. That was that should have been a reset, especially with Neo being down there. However, right, swaps are coming in. Neo Goldkin. We'll be going on to the Hanzo. Chaotic Phoenix getting on to the May. A very interesting pick, actually. The May. I haven't seen much of this season. Shatter is ready from Prophetic. He is. They, there's no Shatter advantage on either side. Both Ryan's ready to go. Ready to rumble with Shatter's. However, the one advantage, that, the one advantage is that Zaro has his nano. Probably gonna be popping onto the Zarya. It's the best option here if you have Bushido Banzai. It's, uh... Matt Damon finds the first one. Hung goes down, but Neo will keep in the back line. He finds a weakness with the headshot Storm Arrow. However, he is by himself, and this might be a pick onto Neo. Never mind Neo, he gets a weakness with what? Nano committed onto our demon and a shatter is massive! Fire set kills Gary, sweeting onto Prophetic, Prophetic is down! Battle Mercy, that's killed Neo who's in the back line, but I don't think much will be found there. Master Link Low has played its high ground, and first tick is gained, looking like a second tick about to be gained on the side of this on this Bushido Banzai roster. Ill weakness, touching the ball, Prophetic back on the ball, but the wife is the point up is still coming through, it seems like for Bushido Banzai. Prophetic Sorrow is still alive right here, finds Gary, and the grab comes down to take out the stalling ball, Prophetic, who was stalling for so long, it's down finally, Keanu Phoenix fighting too, and Neo is back on the two to get the fast one he wants, and he finds a weakness, Gary comes back, but he is taken out instantly by the bomb, Bob is doing something it seems like, ladies and gentlemen, and that will be it. A minute and 51 taken from Bushido, but a fantastic hold, nevertheless, on TFC. TFC, who were able to shave off four, four to three minutes there. Very good hold a lot of time. A lot of time. Yeah. Initiating match. This is a. I gotta say though, TFC is TFC is picking up their. It's looking like they're back here. They're picking up the pace without that defense. The, the defense that defense was very solid from them, shaving off that much time. I'm very interested to see what they're gonna pull out here on the on the attack, I should say. Uh what, call, what type of comps or what they're what the plenty on to what the plenty are running. Ready for battle. Yeah, I, I, it just seemed like uh the TFC wasn't uh, quite ready for that first push, uh by uh Bashiro Bonsai. And so they kind of like uh, but that uh, that was a solid defense that we saw for going for content, definitely. I did I Actually, it's what I gotta say, Chuck, is, uh, I really, what, what, what I noticed that Neil was able to actually get into their back line and just pick two. Like, the, the, like, the fight, like, Neil was able to get in, get that massive poop off the high ground, and 
the, the, while the supports were concentrated on keeping the tank wide up, Neo was able to come in and get picked to right there on that far on that first attack from Bushido. So I gotta say that was probably what got TFC what, what TFC lost that first defense so fast. They just got caught off guard. Uh, somebody, somebody actually, I feel like I'm coming out here. TFC, they're gonna be running a dive here with Prophetic on the Winston. I don't think I've seen Prophetic play Winston that much, so let's get a bit interesting. Neo does fight first one. Uppercut into the chin, breaking the jaw of L Witness. However, Master Link will be on the far right. He fights Chaotic. Del Brest is coming up both sides. This is back to be in a 6v6 fight. Neo has to back out. He has no cooldowns right now, and he knows that. Neo, back to the other point. And Prophetic, looking for that time to dive. He wants to fight his first target, and he looks like he's found one. Hongo trying to push up with him. It's getting that clean from Prophetic. And Dio Gordokin gets over aggressive, and Matt, look at, and he's down. This is this is your go, buddy. If you're the dive, you're the play this dive top. Prophetic cleaving away on this bottom left corner, and it's Matt Cleave doing so much work. Master Link fights Katie. And this is looking, this is looking like it's gonna be a slow clean up to the side of TFC. Nano committed. That's a, I'm not sure how I feel about the Nano actually. That's a, it seems like a bit of a pre, a, a pre late Nano coming on the side of TFC. That, and that doesn't really get much value with Prophetic, with Prophetic being slept there. New defense point, objective B. TFC, they're gonna have the pulse bomb. They're gonna have uh, the Valk. They're gonna snowball this. They, Hongo. Has to make sure Hongo has to make sure this grab does not be gets, does not get eaten by Matt Damon. Punch comes in from Neo, but it hits the wall. It's misused. Pulse bomb comes out. It doesn't find much. In fact, Illuminus is hunted down and killed by the, the McCree High Noon from Chaos Phoenix. But TFC are not going to be playing the widest side. The widest side of that smart play going from the TFC not to not play in that widest sides. Neo getting up and antsy, going in aggressively, but he's just gonna find a diva to punch. Not even, not even more. Prophetic has to get dived out, he does just that. And now if you're a TFC, you have some big golds, you have the nano back up, you have the, the primal rage, and I gotta say, very smart pa passive play going TFC, waving that nano to be built up. And now with that nano built up, they go aggressive a bit. Shatter bomb come, shatter bomb. Both being popped at the same time, but that shatter not getting much from, much from Ordemo. Primal rage popped from, from, from Prophetic. And that, that juggle is that primal rage, that monkey juggle could be right as well. Focusaurus down. Neo does get the D-Mac and a meteor strike coming in, but this marvelous this monkey is on fire. Prophet, prophetic on the Winston. Game three. And, and that's smoking like this might be a team win for the side of TFC. Slept are coming out massively, but Matt Damon is still alive. Punches Hungo into the jaw. He finds a third of the headshot to Bugas Arrows, and this cleanup up is looking like it's gonna be a better time make for TFC. Contest coming from Neo on the Reaper. Our Devo hits off a cliff! That's not the point, son! Cannot be come back on the soldier. He is just running around in a circle, but that won't do much against the Winston. Hongo on the Steve and start as long as he can! The right coming back in, pin not getting much! The shatter though is quite massive, and there goes Gary! Gary OW down! That's, there goes your name potential, but Master League is still alive! Our Devo, Sweetie Light, finds the tank! Chaotic Phoenix still alive. Neo Gordon keep my bad, it's still on this tracer, but he's the only one alive! And they're about to cap! Neo does my best to play cover! Punch comes in and Kitty can't make it in time! And TFC will cap with the better time fake with 3 minutes and 9 seconds. Score. Definitely a better attack coming from TFC, I gotta say. Very clean. And a very- I was gonna say, I, I'm a, I did compliment them, but I'll say it again. Very smart play to just play passive. And build that build that nano when they and that's in that first that first attack there or second sorry, I should say that first attack at second point from TFC, prophetic you know he, he didn't dive into the Winston he just kind of kind of walked in put his bubble down got that cleave damage take it damage for, so Gary could build up that nano and once they had that nano that's when they engaged fantastic play coming from plays coming from the side of TFC. Yeah, I'd really be interested to see what like. Uh... Was going on like in between rounds, like especially with Attackers that going into this, this third map here, all about Sky for TFC.
especially uh, how we've been seeing Bushido Bonds like come out tonight so far. It'd be very interesting to be in the, the locker room for that. Yeah, like like like, like, a, like a prep talk. Like Kenny, like pull, Kenny, pull, Kenny pulled him in. I was like, okay, boys. Winston Diva died, and they're like, oh, okay, I see you, I see you, and, and here they are, and they're, they're committed to it. I really like this idea. The dive worked so well. It was able to isolate so many targets, and I just fully understand why they're gonna commit to a dive here. Uh, something a bit interesting here, actually, for the side of Bushido is chaotic. is gonna be on the soldier seventy six. Very interesting pick coming on the side of Bushido. Yeah. Alright, Chaotic retain top right. We're all side of his team. In fact, the entire team of Bushido wants to take this top right high ground. And they're taking it. Prophetic diving up there, tr trying to get them ultra. He gets some, he gets, gets out, but only finds 12%. And I, I didn't find the, the leap, the leap, uh, leap punch combo that he was looking for, it seems. Prophetic going up there, fantastic poop onto Chaotic, Chaotic is on the low ground, but he gets away! Prophetic getting swung dead, but it doesn't seem to do much, he is being kept up by his supports. And Neo by himself being died by the monk, this, this Winston Star Zari and Diva, my bad. My David is how redeemed mech, and Chaotic fight best of league, that's crucial for that TMC! Ill Venus is still alive, however. He punches Neo. And by my chaotic, and chaotic is down. Nano boost, which they engage. It's brilliantly done, however. And TMC's die is impeccable right now, ladies and gentlemen. And what it looked like was going to be a one team fight for the side of Bushido is lost instantly. And now, and now it is panic mode if you are T Bushido Bonsai. Prophetic, just waving, almost has that, in fact he almost has, has that proud rage. I gotta say, I, I never have seen Prophetic play Winston, but his Winston has looked very clean so far. Alright, Shatter comes in, Solar Shatter we met Damon actually, and Master League accidentally kills himself with a rush! That's crucial! Primal Rage engage into the back line, Neo's being juggled, let's one down with Prophetic with a bomb, Mongo is, is looking like it's more mightier. No, Rezzy Master League in mid air? And, and he's back in the fight. Beat committed. And it's not that moving. will be enough here. A 10 count race gained on the side of Bushido Banzai. Nano gauge onto the Whistle once again. And it's gonna be like smoking mighty. Put you and that massive. Demo has to play has to play Curl Cubby. He is too low to play main. And he is down. Neo pops the high near, but he gets eaten. And this and this and Bushido. Though they gain the tick, it's not a lot of percentage. And TFC, they don't hold quite strong here on, the, on defense, on the first point defense. Score two to two. Switch sides. Initiating match. I mean, I. I, I gotta say, I love I love to see the dive on defense. So. I doesn't. I love to see it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, it's it, it do, definitely seems like it's their strong suit. So when I know it sounds kind of weird though, I'm saying it like that, but I'm just saying it more along the lines of like, if hey, if that's what your that's your strength at, like play it. Doesn't matter where you play that. You can play it in the shower and you know at lunch. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you play that. Like. If that's your strength, then just like play it to it. And I, I don't think there's anything wrong with like running that kind of like Attackers that solid like uh, dive on defense. Like especially if you can work it the way they did. That I like you said, I haven't seen Prof too much on Monkey, but um, I haven't seen anything too great tonight. I like, I like, I like, love to see dive. Like anytime I can see it, love to see it. Uh, it's. It's such an uncommon cop nowadays because you can the Winston dive, I should say. The Winston dive, not really the ball dive, but the Winston dive is so common because of, you know, like how dominant ball has been recently. And it's just really nice. It's really refreshing to see this, especially the fact that it is the perfect counter, right? They just, with, as, for, uh, against the comps that Bushido are running, you just gotta play slow, wait for the nano to get built, and then dive in and cleave onto those tanks. 
and, and pretend uh, like you go to those tanks, and then when you have the nano, engage onto the squishies. And then it has been played very well, I should add too, from the side of TFC. The input has died spectacularly. In fact, something a bit interesting is Bushido gonna drop the high ground instantly, then I gonna try to contest it, and now with that, there's no high ground control with TFC. Nate is brilliant, and they're all low. However, Hunger will find prophetic. Massive picks up coming on the side of from Ill Witness beside TFC. Hungo is just walking in though in the back lane! And there's no pew on Gary! And Gary's dead now! Master Link is still going crazy! Wait, what the? And not even carried uh, carried at all. He just fights two. Master Link! Not giving a damn about the switch he's in, and he opens his up completely for the side of TMC. Master Link. That's crazy. Taking that, taking Volskaya for TFC, and now we got a game, ladies and gentlemen. We got two. We are two one now in the series. What? Oh, man, Chuck. <laughs> what? I, yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. This is, uh, <laughs> this is this be a great game. It's not, I already said it before, but oh my, like, oh my goodness. And I, 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 Sorry, can't, go on, go on. I, can't, I, I, I think, uh, we can all establish that, uh, Master Link, no, uh, plays, uh, Farah. Oh, uh, indeed. <laughs> I, d I think Master League plays far. And he plays it quite well. We should add it too. I mean, that that was some of the, that was the best far play I've seen all tonight so far. His Master League just you know just by himself, taking out like five <laughs> people there. At one point, Master League took out three, three, yeah. <laughs> two without a pocket, and then <laughs> one with a pocket. That was crazy. I don't even know how they were able to get that much value in the in the back line like that, especially because uh, we were seeing a lot of uh, strong aggression from uh, Bushido Banzai on a lot of parts of that. So it was very interesting that they were able to, you know, TFC was able to get that uh, together and uh, take that dive right to them. And I think that's uh, uh, kind of helped them with that map right there. Definitely. Thank you. Definitely, man. I definitely, I gotta have to agree. It's... And now, what now? Now, now the question is: Can Bushido counter the dive effectively? Mm. They 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 popped up the Roadhog that was, and they had the Brig. But is I don't think. But I'm gonna be real with you, Chuck. Brig Mercy is not the best support line. If you're gonna run a Brig, you're gonna have to run like a Zen alongside it, or a, Bat, a Batista alongside it, or even an Ana. Like, you, this is definitely. It's definitely gonna have Bushido. The Shido's definitely gonna have to fast quickly. Throughout this, throughout map four, piece together a, a, a effective way to counter this fantastic dive coming from TFC. Oh no, no switches from TFC. I mean, it makes sense. They're going to be committing to that dive, the same comps, the same dive. It seems like makes complete sense to me. And uh, tempo, just to make sure that we're on the same page. Uh, next map is Gibraltar. Is that correct? Uh, no, it is uh Dorado. Okay, I I wasn't I know we had that conversation before I wasn't sure if it was drawn or. Okay, gotcha. So good, so good. I I I just gotta praise Prof here for a minute. His Winston play is the unsung hero right now. I it really is. Master Link had that was having the pop off, but but Prof was having the space made. This man was this man was playing patient. Perfect patient play, waiting for the nano to be built up, and then that's when he initiated on the squishies when he knew he had the nano to sustain him and keep his, you know, keep his keep him up as he was engaging that aggressively. He was only really engaging the bubble down and for cleave on the tanks to build up the primal rage. It was very well done, Winston play, and from coming from prophetic, I just I just gotta got seen seen that praise for for the the main tank on the side of TFC here tonight. You know, boost up, boost the man's ego slightly a bit, bit, because you know, as we all know, prophetic is one that has uh, has no has no ego at all. Prophetic, yeah, you know, uh, no prophetic cap. is not no nope, no <laughs> ego at all. Yep. Uh, complete ego well, death well, is that what we know the <laughs> prophetic for? Of yeah. And all right, lovely. 
to the swamp thing. Oh my, oh, my mic was not muted while I was putting a sip there. Oh, my, oh, my bad. <laughs> I thought my mic was muted. Uh, well, well, you just heard me drink water, so I get, I, I congrats. Like, <laughs> well, um, we have some swaps coming in on the side of Bushido Banzai. Casters, they're uh, just like I'm... everyday everyday people. They're just like us. They drink you, water. Drink... That's insane, Chuck. That's insane. <laughs> See, I. I, for one, think casters aren't real people. We're not real people, right? <laughs> I think we're like a miss of a miss. We are, you know, we are, we are born into casting, and that's all we do. <laughs> I don't know where this joke's going. <laughs> I, uh, so we have some swaps coming in. Our demo and Hungo staying on the tank line. Uh, Herzo and Esdith. Coming back in, like I said, like I said, keeping that consistent DPS line here, and Glass and Kirobot coming in on the supports once again, keeping that consistent support line. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if they're they have a plan, a plan here, uh, to, to uh, utilize maybe uh, as Death's hero pull on that Torbjorn McCree for to counter this dive. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. I just got my 18th alert that it's that it's gonna be snowy tomorrow on my phone. I had to uh, close that uh, base that alert because they keep getting alerted from my weather app. Yeah, um, it's like, are are you sure it's gonna be snowing where you are? Uh, no, no, no. It's unfortunately it's gonna be snowing where you're at. Yeah, I'm like, I, I it's like yeah, exactly. It's like I know, I know. I'm pretty sure I know it's gonna be snowing tomorrow because you know it's all. That's all I see. I mean, that's all I hear about because Texas doesn't get any snow. So that's all I've been hearing is that about people being like, "Oh my God, it's snowing tomorrow, dude!" Oh, oh, oh. I, f I had to swap again. Oh yep 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 yep. I'm pretty excited though, Chuck. I'm pretty excited to see this Master Link versus uh, Perso hit skin duel. I mean, yeah, well, to be honest, we might we might see him. Um, you might see Master Link on the bar again, who knows? But if Master Link does play that McCree, I'm excited to see this rematch between the two DPS. And let me just do the swaps here and over here. All right, so that's all. That's that's all she wrote for. That's all she wrote for swaps, correct? Uh, yeah, all the swaps are right. I'm just making sure I have uh, everyone on the right uh, spectating right now. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, all right. Let me just check out quick. Check out Mash Chat quickly. Oh, uh, does it seem? Does it seem like we have? Uh, we we got a ready. We got a, there's already from Bushido. No ready yes. yet from the side of TFC, however. So I've been, I was, I was, I've been I've been looking for chat, looking back on chat here, and I've been seeing a lot a lot of people talk about it. I'm actually curious. I'm curious about your uh, opinions, chat. Uh, so about I've seen a lot of people saying Perzo's hit scan is nuts and Master the Link is nuts, and even some, some people saying that uh, ill ill will uh, ill weakness is nuts. So uh, I'm pretty curious, chat. Who do you think out of everybody in this lobby, in your personal opinion, has the best hit scan? Very interesting. I'm just interested to read about read chat. Are, are you in chat right now? Uh, in Twitch chat? Yeah. Uh, yes, I am. I am indeed in the Twitch chat. Read the Twitch chat. Okay. I pulled it up. I I, I, remember, I remembered to pull up this game. <laughs> nice. You already had <laughs> a B. Oh really? Oh really? Oh oh, oh you know, my well Chuck. You're uh, as someone who's you know, streaming the game. I'm ex I expect you to have uh, chat up. Oh oh, I have all the chats up. What are you what are you, what are you referring oh. to? Oh yeah. oh, I see. I have, I have chats that you don't even know existed that I have up actually. 
Well, I did, well, that's uh, that's crazy. Next, he called me <laughs> Chuckster Neo, right? No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> and all, and all uh, I think we almost got the readies here. All right. God. See, I, so I see from uh, Daddy, uh, Daddy One Eighty. Uh, is that he, he thinks that Pertzel hit skin is uh, is like Pertzel hit skin is quite nutty. And from what I saw on Blizzard World, I I will have to agree their hit skin is quite nutty. Traveling to the right. All right, oh here we go. We got both ready on both sides. And this is this is this, you know what Chuck? You know what Chuck? I'm a I'm expect I'm expecting a a, a, tw a twenty minute Dorado match. A map. How do you feel about it? You know how do you feel about that? Uh. I, you know what, I, I'm feeling it, you know, I'm, I'm, whatever, whatever will happen, <laughs> I just know I'm feeling it, I don't know what's oh. gonna happen on this map, anything can happen, but I already see something, uh, from our friends over at Throwing for Content, um, that could be interesting, Attackers and I also see some interesting seconds. things from our friends over there at, uh, Bushido Banzai, so, uh, we shall, we shall see how this goes. I, I, if they commit to that bastion, Chuck, I'm, that's going to be detrimental <laughs> for the size of Bushido. What would they have, Chuck? They're running a Roadhog. They're expecting a dive, I think. I, I, think, I think. They're not expecting this. Uh, oh, no, they're not committed to the bastion. But they still, they're, they're, I don't think they're expecting this Ryan Cup coming out. I think they're, I think they're expecting a dive. No. Especially with, this, with the Torbjörn, McCree, and Hawk being played here. They, they completely, they were expecting the dive. So I, I think they're going to be kind of thrown off by them. Indeed, our team was spooked early! There we go, coming from the side of, 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 of Master Link, he's gonna have to back up, he choked, and there we have the king of high ground! Bushido is Shambros right now! Matt Dan is coming out of the high ground, and he's gonna push off Hungo into the low ground. And this is, if you're, if you are Bushido, this is quite a bad space you're in right now. You do not want to be playing on the low ground with a copy you're playing this early on. Our team opening, okay, pushed up with a nade, it's fantastic! But Phoenix low, he's got the back up! Third from Hungo, not gonna find much, however. It's gonna be quite challenging for Roadhog to play and gets his cop. Master Link, they can just play swell, pick, pick in, poke in, and, and feel the damage. Hook, find some, find Parfenic actually, but it won't, it won't be much done. Parfenic is peeled from the, by his Eva. And so much space being given up already by Bushido. Back in both of what Elvitas is, put it in perfectly, but the window, I mean, though the immortality is grand, it saves Killerbot. Pretzel is, Pretzel, is caught, however, and if you that is your opening, no more poking. If you are TFC, you go in, and that's exactly what they do. That's a bit of a self self uh barrage, it seems right there, but not really needed. But it's whatever, it's whatever. And T TFC will take first. Hungo now onto this diva. Very a very late swap half swap however. It's an old old charge gone. And glass, he's so low, they have to play, they have to play so far back. Multicore comes out, but most of it is eaten by Matt Damon. Multicore, not getting much value. Reset bomb coming out just to get that remax. And if you're if you are Bushido right now, you if you are down here molten core, you have to play around this shatter. That is your main goal, but it's this is out! Window is popping, the window is just too aggressive a window, honestly. Too far forward, and they just walk TFC! They just walk past it! Nato comes out prophetic and he just walks forward, and Bushido have to reset once again. Now Dragon built up, fast one actually, attack comes through, the immortality is grand and prophetic, he's looking for that shatter, and this on this Ash now, dies by Master Link, and Perto on the top left, finds his 2k I do, so much touch, our demo just gonna touch, and that shatter is used, I don't think that was needed honestly, I think they were, I think Bushido were good, prophetic is down, but, that's an ult, that's definitely an ult they definitely could have saved, on the side of Bushido. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's an ult that could have been saved. I think also it was just like a reaction. Sometimes you just react in that course. I think that's what may have occurred there. You, they were just trying to stop that push. Indeed, but I think, it, Chuck, I think that's some nerves showing through. 
like, it, uh, Bushido, they had five to six people members there, right, on the car, while TFC only had three. And pop committee ult to, to when you're when you're up three there, not really needed. So I'm, I think there might be some nurse wind here on the side of Bushido. Urso does find an early pick, finds a second one. The duck, he does have to get aggressive and a bit a bit overextended, but he does find two. And that overextension, it's gonna be valued. TFC, I just kept to back up and reset here. Prof has the shadow ready. Bomb almost up for Matt Damon. They're probably going to try to do a, a, a bomb combo for shatter. Absolutely a bit interesting. I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention here. Ill weakness on the Gen on the Genji. Very interesting swap one from him. Uh, Shatter's Shatter's grand. It gets both supports and that down blast. Our Tico pops the shatter, but it's blocked. A perk goes in the back line. He punches Tico. Big big. Oh, I mean in the face. And even though they're stuck out so many, there's still a fight happening here. And Bob's on the point now that we can test. Pungo does get die, however. And he's down a nano bomb. But the bomb's just getting all this damage blocked. But because of the nano bomb, he was stalling along. There's a re test with a Bushido. Perks though takes out my demon. Both Divas down for the count. TFC now, they're just gonna wait back and build up this. Build up this nano. That's definitely the game plan here. Get give the build up that nano blade. That's your win condition right now. Here it comes. And there it is, nano ready to go at 90%. And once we see that 100% of that nano, that's when you're gonna see TFC engage. Right now, they're just trying to take high ground to give the high control for the Ana. Make her make, easy nade for make it easier places to nade for her. Alright, Nash comes in real weakness, and there's the blade! High new comes up and Perto doesn't fight much! It's the foot and he's down! Pungo gonna fall alongside his his hit skin buddy! And the TFC only have the bird two or oh, three old I excuse me there. And they're gonna walk right in. And right now, if you're TFC and it's not about your old usage. I mean, your old fake, I should say, my bad, is looking quite good. You have the barrage, you have the barrage, uh, and you have the shatter, and you almost have the bomb. However, with Ill Witness now down, you, you have the, that's definitely a re uh, back up and re test. Barrage pop there, won't, won't, won't find much, however. In fact, Prophetic will be the one to find the, for the kill there. Fire strike on Demo, Demo is gone. Window is popped by Killer Bot, that's a lot of damage coming out to the front of the front line. Matt Damon, D-Mech has to pop the bomb to reconnect. This is an interesting bomb coming out of the side of Bushido Bushido Bonsite, but it's it's but it's grand. Hongo fights Big O. Shatter advantage on the side from Ardebo. He has the shatter ready. Prop still building his. Perto pops high noon, but that's a bit far in the back. I don't think he's gonna find much of the high noon there. And and just just predicted. TFC just backs away and nothing is found. I knew, I, I knew, kind of burned. Shatter is blocked and the nano onto Prop. And the Shatter is grand. Prop fires the big Shatter. The main tech difference coming through, it seems like right now. Prop, you're definitely gonna be saving that one for the high right reels. Demo getting on the monkey. He wants the touch point, but I don't think he will make it in time and he looks. 51 seconds on the clock and this that's and honestly those those tfc does cap all three not a bad not a bad hold all with bushido bonsai i know i, th I thought bushido definitely initiating i mean the, coming into that third point they, they had a lot of time um that they had to they bank away and they were able to kind of still hold it in um i, I thought the fights were pretty close to uh, towards the end as well Indeed. I mean, I think that honestly, I think the swaps coming from TFC. Oh, that's my bad. Bushido were smart, getting off the Torbjorn, getting off the Hog. You know, all those swaps, really smart. The Ash, the Ash is so still really good around these nerfs. And if you can get full value like Esdef was, you get a lot of value out of it. And like I said, that second defense almost was almost a full hold. I mean, almost a hold from Bushido until uh, until the, the, they built up the nano there. And that's something I gotta say is about Bushido is they're getting it. I was covering their execution, but it's getting a bit sloppy right now. It seems uh, they're 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 letting the sides of 
TFC get away with these uh, these plays right now. Like, for example, TFC just plays slow. They want to build up the nano, and if you, and if you, and if you are Bushido, you you, should, you gotta take you gotta know this. You gotta be ult tracking that that blade nano, that nano blade coming up, and you gotta be the one taking the initiative there. However, they just they they they, they play they play choke, play pa don't take the initiative at all, and then the nano blade gets built up and they get popped. And, they win, and then TFC wins the team fight. And you're Bushido, you definitely gotta be taking more initiative here, like you like they what like they were on the first two maps. All right, Infernal immortality. Use to the side of Bushido Bond's side, but it doesn't seem like much that much could be lost. However, you guys know so much burst coming from this double bird comp. Hongo and per Perso filling the kill feed right now. H Hongo joining in alongside his tank buddy on Demo. And Bushido having a clean hold. However, I must comment one thing quickly. The, the, the close hole coming for team, T, uh, TFC, very smart. Now, because of that close hole coming for TFC, they can have two more team fights here. I, I'd also, I would also say that uh, what they did not seem to know what they had that point to do with it. Because the point did not move. Indeed, they didn't know how hard they should put the pressure or anything in that regard. That's the link stuck by Pretzel here. That's a, that's a, oh, that's a, that's a massive kick. There's no barrage now. There's one massive link who has the barrage ready. Both of the And the shatter is quite massive, but there's no big deal. Hongo fit seems like, I stand, I stand corrected. The peel of Hongo is fantastic. Hongo, the, the, the god right now, saving for the, the take it out, massive link, and damn the entire run. Shatter comes in, but that's not looking like much value being found there. The duplicate bomb making the space it needs to make. And our demo just walking into prophetic. Our and Bushido coming out just as strong as TFC will find first first point. So, um, I wanted to clarify what I said earlier like, in terms of playing uh, Bushido Bonsai and see what they do with the point. I think that they uh, they took their... They, the aggression was so there that they kind of... I think they were expecting a little bit more uh, pushback from TFC. I did. I, I think, yeah, probably. That might be the case. Right, oh, this. On this high ground, going for the. Oh, the fantastic shadow of Artemo. I actually can't catch the bomb, it seems like. I was trying to get shot there. Elvina Talibur has built up the bomb, and he's on the field now, but the bomb is huge! I'm going the perfect angle! He fights three! And that. And, and I'm. Uh, and that's Mugabe to give it an actually different Bushido Bonsai TFC! Who swapped back on the dive actually, which is a very honestly, a, I think a very good play coming from right now. The counter, counter of this Bushido Bonsai roster, they don't find the power they're looking for. They, they lose in their team fight. And now, if you're a TFC, you're about you're about to get third capped with three minutes of the clock. With second cap, my bad. With three minutes of the clock. You can onto the Winston, but as they have a slip in sleep, it has to sleep coming from the on the other side of TFC. Master League of the High Noon. The Perk Zone is still alive. It is, oh, oh, oh! They were gonna win that team by two, it actually looks like. And TFC, they have the right ults, the right spacing, but the tanks, they walk off point. A lot of time going into third point. <laughs> indeed, indeed, I have to agree with you on that. That's all I can really say. Uh, unfortunate misplay going for the tank going to TFC. And then if, you're, if you have TFC, you just gotta shrug it off. You gotta, you gotta push forward. And actually that window, I gotta say, from Killbot, used way too early. That it gets basically wasted. No, no, no value at all coming out from it. Killbot on the high ground gets taken down airs instantly. Ill weakness ready to throw that pick. Blast that sounds a red stuff, however, but that's a rest burned early. And now you have a trace on your back line. Hyde comes out, but it only finds the immortality. No immortality, that's, that's a free way to push in. Prophetic goes in straight in. Trying to build up his tyrant reel. He fights two, finds a third on Killerbot. Fights two more! 
and prophetic. Probably be putting that one Overwatch talk after the game on the, the tyrant reel. Listen to your and beat and beat and Bushido Bonsai. Even though you lose that team fight, it's not the worst team fight to lose. You have, you're you you build up your ults now and come back in the next fight. You have the bob, you have the Valk, you have the shatter almost ready. So we have an interesting however, we're gonna see a torp yard here. I'm assuming to try to counter ill weakness on the on the tracer. Bomb again, bomb again coming through. Not, not gonna find much. The immortality is there. Prophetic pushing forward, but he's a bit by himself. However, the DPS and the supports comes through for Prof. They save him, but in the nick of time. And Prophetic with the nano just walks straight through. And Bushido will have to do a narrow reset here. However, like I said, like I said, ults are being built up here. Tank ults ready on both of both our demo and Hungo. And also we have the the window from Batiste. DPX ults coming up both of them. Actually, something, something a bit crazy. I just noticed that Max already has a high, their high noon. High noon use, but it doesn't get much. It's blocked. You know what's not blocked? That shatter. And it, it's massive the set of prop. Bob used to Hungo for peeling, but the peel is. It's a bit too late, and the bomb finds no value. Bushido Bonsai once again re resetting, and then uh, and Google, they're bit of a, a bit of a stump right now. As if going to the McCree and Hugo going up to Zarya, and honestly, what's the big tragic part about this is now there's there's no Torbolt. So that's the reset of your Torbolt. Yeah, you can sort of talk to the McCree. So that's now reset of your ult, ult uh, usage. Or ult management, I should say. From so inside the uh, Bushido Bonsai. Window and O1 oh, is both popped at the same time, but TFC just plays smart. Backs out of the window once again. Oh, the shot is massive! Big O is perfect with the with the beat. However, it's not enough to save prop. Stun comes out on your deal, but it's not enough to just kill him. The immortality is there, but TFC just continues to steamroll through. And that is another reset coming in for Bushido. As they've oh, actually put up the high noon quite fast that team fight. He's gonna have the high noon in this team fight. However, it's gonna be quite tricky. They're gonna have to potentially take the high ground for him. So you can have all that space and, you, and all that all that space and all that vision to use the high noon. Because if you use if you use the high noon on low ground, TFC just have the speed boost. They can just speed away from it. You know, going to engage you on the low ground, it seems like not, not wanting to take that high ground. My new pop, but it's shattered right out of it! And TFC would drop with the nano, storm right through, and they're gonna hold third, it seems here. And this is it, my shot, a tied series coming in. TFC put pretty a pretty back. The brooms potentially gonna get a full sweep here, and the series now is 2 2 tied. Wow. Play of the game. I'm really excited that we've got the whole series tonight. Yeah, I mean, like I said, well, this was supposed to be a crazy series. And yeah, we did, we did say that at the very beginning. <laughs> we, did, we did say that. <laughs> and it's living up to that hype. Oh my god, look at the look at the look at the damage our team will block. 27k, that is a that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage blocked. <laughs> the healing is crazy too. Oh that's almost 22k, correct? That is uh that's quite insane, and I gotta say, Chuck, my statement from before is living up. TFC, their mentals never crack. Their mentals never crack. Okay? They never go down. At all. Once if they're down 2 the series, TFC does not care. They're gonna continue playing how as well as they usually play. And Bushido, it seems like they they took it a bit taking it a bit easy here, getting a bit sloppy, like I said, on their old management and their commitments. Yeah. And right I, and, and it's and for now it seems like it's bit, bit them. Uh yeah, oh yes nation, and we are on map five nation. 
Sorry, I interrupted you there, Chuck. What's up? Wait, Ch Ch Chuck? Oh. Starting Valley update. I I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. But, it's, it's more my it's more my, it's more my boss. I I uh I was uh given a an urgent update by my girlfriend and so I had breaking to news. <laughs> breaking news <laughs> Stardew Valley a new update for the Switch or whatever. So she's <laughs> um, breaking news update. <laughs> <laughs> that'd I was be no. really confused by the new content when winter started up today, and I didn't know if it was because of how I am, or if it was because of... <laughs> and I know. Oh, and that was uh, clarified, everyone. <laughs> it wasn't because of an update. There was other things going on in Stardew Valley. Well, I mean, I'm glad to hear, I'm glad to hear that uh, Stardew Valley seems like... <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I hear, I hear that game so much because like, I just walk in and you're like, you're like, ooh, what's that? And like, just playing it. And I'm like, and I was here. We were being like, I completed the community center. I'm like, what's the community center? <laughs> and uh, to, to be uh, correct, uh, tempo is Oasis next. Uh, correct. Oasis will be a tiebreaker map. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh. That's uh, that is hot America, Chuck. There you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, do you have any swaps coming out from bo any for both sides? Uh, TFC legits for Aquino. Oh, okay. That's gonna be pretty interesting coming here. Uh, no, well, uh, what about that, Bushido? Or... Oh, it seems like my Discord. Hold on, it seems like my Discord is crashing for some reason. That's that's quite interesting. Wait, I don't understand. Legit? They want legit for Kino. Who's? What? Oh, I... what's up? Um, I'm looking at profs who they want in. Akino. Legit for a kino. Ill weakness. It's Ill, it's, oh, that's ill. That's ill weakness. Oh. Okay. Akino's ill. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm 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 there for you, bud. <laughs> when you when you did not know. All right. We got, we got we got we got quite the active chat. I, like I come back I come back to chat like I got the chat and I haven't seen it active. I'm, no I'm pretty, lineup uh, switches from BB. Oh really? That's actually I thought I was expecting like a Neo Golden Key to come back in here actually because of uh how you know chaotic uh troll can be and how how well it fits his hero pool. That's a uh, that is very shocking. All the noobs phones die. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Alright, alright. Uh I think we're all ready. Got the readies from both sides. Yeah, I Alright, here we I, I guess think... we can go right in, man. Uh, as long as <laughs> the lineups that, are right. Well, yes, uh these are the right write ups, legit hammer Zen and Bashido the same. Alright. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Final map of this craziest hell series here we got here tonight. Uh, oh, oh my goodness! Like, Bushido Bonzo, like I said before, even if they, if, I think that even if they lose the series, they proved a lot here tonight. Um, got those maps? Take it, those maps? Not even the maps, but looking so good against TFC, one of the best teams in our tier and tier two, I should say. Uh, TFC coming here with legit hammers on Oasis. I'm very curious if they're going to be playing with the Hanzo. That's their plan. What, why they have uh, legit hammers coming in here? Never mind. I stand correct. I, I stand. I stand corrected. Uh, legit. Ha he's legit hammers. We'll be going on to the Echo. It seems. And this is what I was worried about, actually, Chuck. Uh, coming from when from these two teams going against each other, TFC does definitely ha that they definitely have the better ball cop. The ball, the ball, ball synergy and the better their ball cop. And strategies around that ball, right? 
And wow. that's definitely, I think it would be a big weakness for Bushido is playing against that ball. And my prop is getting off the ball and going right hard. Okay, well, everything I was saying, everything I was saying is, uh, is wrong. So do everything I said in the past minute. <laughs> All right, early, early, early point. Point is taken early from the side of TFC. That engagement is what you want. And Fushido, they're gonna have to back up early. So much damage being pumped onto Ardemo here. Prophetic getting aggressive. Prophetic, well, he wants to build this, build this, put these angles, build legit hammer to match the length to get full value. Ardemo is so low, he gets, he's pushed up and he's down. And now TFC, this is the free getaway, this is the free way to push forward. Gary, fat nade coming from the, the Gary himself, and it takes out Kurobot. Prophetic pushes forward, and Cap goes in favor of TFC. And look at, look at the shadow difference right now coming from both these rides right now. I gotta say, Chuck, that is quite a massive difference, quite massive. I, I mean, and the Torb's out. That's all I, all I'll say is the Torb's out. <laughs> you think the Torb is the lucky charm? I, I I think it is. Wait, Bushido getting aggressive on the right side. They want to push in. They want to give that health pack to Edstiff. But the Shadow Prophetic, Prophetic just speeds right in. Shadows the entire back line. This, Nano goes on to the Prophetic to finish the job, it seems like. Glass does pop the cold one since to keep the team up, but it won't be enough that Nano was there. And though they fight Big O, they're gonna have to be Shido. We'll have to back up there, especially if Hongo B picked late there by hammers. Oh, we got. Oh, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Never mind. <laughs> oh, every time I see you leave, every time I see you left the game, I always have like a mini panic attack. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, me too. I, I, I almost freaked out. But... Alright, here we go. Wait, 60% on the clock. EP. Big go, big go, actually, fantastic hiding coming from him. He hides from that, from that beat. I mean, from that EMP, and gets the beat out. And that's the there to get a 3k with the high new, but the silent, the silent, I gotta say, I guess to say the silent carry there in that team fight was still with Big O. Hiding that from that beat was fantastic coming from the Lucio on the side of EFC. And now look at this, if you're Bushido, you have one more team fight. And, the, and that, and after that, if you lose this, if you lose anybody here, this that'll be it. Pushing right side once again. The, the, but I don't think I, I don't think that's a great idea, especially with the Torb yard position. They will both the core. Beat comes out from Killer Bot. Final thing will be enough, especially the Shatter onto Devo. Devo is down, and the Tyrus taken out also. Nano Zarya is down the field. This is no so way Hungo, and that's looking like a clean a nine, not clean hundred to zero right there from TFC and TFC. Takes the first map here on Oasis. Oh, this shot. Oh, if I was actually going to uh, marry a particular map, this this is actually garden. the exact position. I would. You would marry. marry you marry. Garden. I marry garden in this position. Yeah. Oh well, that's a uh, that's an interesting thing. That's an interesting <laughs> phrase. I would apply. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so interesting here, Chuck. The uh, the dive is coming out from once again coming out once again from the sides of TFC. Oh, excuse me, bro. TFC. And I got their dive was fantastic on both sides. And I, I think and I think they want it they want it in this fast. They want to isolate these members on the side of Bushido. They want this done. However, Bushido, they have they have the, the tour, but they have the decree and the Sigma. But glass is taken out instantly! And that's an instant reset potentially, but per wait, wait, but Prince is still alive. Prince finds two, but he's gonna be taken out by Prof. And that is what that is. The, yep, that is definitely an instant reset coming to the side of Bushido Bonsai. Carol Bond and Ezdip is gonna be speeding out. Hope would open it up to get picked here. Oh well, that's the that does get found out by ha uh, legit hammers, and that is crucial. That's a Quite a, quite a slight stagger. It's gonna be some. It's gonna be like a free, like thirty percent coming from here, from coming from TFC here. Yeah. They, oh, the nade is really good. It's free there actually. And with the nano gauge, with the nade target, that's gonna be quite a massive nade. Bro, just 
finds that opening and TMC just walk right through with their dive. Bushido sent right back to their spawn. If Bushido Bonsai, you have the ults right now. You gotta find it and you gotta find the best way to use these ults. Especially that high noon, you you, you, you want to get parts of the space. You want to make that space for me so you can pop that high noon. Get the value he's looking for. However, it's gonna be quite risky. It's Master Lee's gonna come here with a little with the barrage. Pulse Pop connects up Perzo. That's your. He's down. There goes your high noon. And it's over by two. Kerbok pops the beat. You get aggressive a bit, but I. But there's not. But honestly, the Shido Bonds said they were getting aggressive. That beat, not funny, which value is he's like. Shadow comes out. But he does not get the value he's looking for. He is slept to make him walk forward. Nice. And we're at 80% now. Herzo is back. He takes out hammers. Trade clear back in left and right, but it's a trade. But look at this. The sleeper demo, he's taking up with a bomb. PK erected him as a sleeper on him. Bob comes out from Hongo, but I don't know if there's much of a sight when the bomb. No, there is not. And TFC continue to stop forward. Hi, new finally. I just does come out here, but. I couldn't find much. No one's playing the personal sideline. 87%. Your last team fight for Bushido is now here. The Roadhog coming out from Artemo actually. Prop is hooked with the hooked with the DM is there. Point catcher coming in the side of Bushido Bond side, but with Prenzo now, that's a Prenzo now, that's a lot of your damage. Prophetic just walking into this backline right now. The carry the recapture, however, does happen. Uh, it seems like they were on point. They were on point. We're on point for a bit too long. Rematch bomb coming in, and the with the so and the solo barrage for the demo that looking like that might be it. The soul coming in as well as he can from Kurt. So, but alas, it will looking like it will be in vain. Kurt, so down. And the bomb came. Oh, bomb can't touch point. It gets pooped away. The beat comes out from Killerbot. For the with the nano monkey, the team even went hard to sustain. Bob comes out to end him and it's massive. The trades are going back and forth with the monkey in favor of the side of TFC right now. The tanks right now from TFC just walking forward. Bob comes out. Hungo is actually will fight Gary. Tech big O so low. He's down to support. Down for the count right now. D Mac on to Hongo. That's and that's that little no, like that might be it. Wait a minute, I'm wrong. Quad well, still alive, a point. And SF, he fights Master Link. SF still alive. He and when all home team lost. <gasps> This Bushido Bonsai roster somehow scrapped forward and they pull, they pull a Rika test and a map. A Rika test back out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a scary team fight, however. Every ult on the side of TFC is ready besides support ults. And, you, and, and, and look, at the side, look at Bushido's ults. They only have the mines. They only have to know if he gets ulti ready. Croft pops the primal and he instantly takes out as the Red comes out. Bomb shot at the other ground. Not gonna. Well, actually, put a demon. I'm wrong on a hungo. And with no demon, that's a free broad. My field comes out, but I don't think that's facing much. And with and with 83 to point, TFC is staying so many kills. Perzo is still alive, however, he fights Gary. And and right now, you are a stall mode here, Bushido Bonsai. You just want to keep stall until that 99%. Hungo, take it down. But the post is fantastic. Rest coming out from Big Tech, but he can. But a legit hammer takes out Perzo, but he can make it back at the point of time. Polish comes down, was it? Won't we'll find much, however, it's onto that wrecking ball. Demo. Stay alive, stay alive. Sleep Dart's on him, however, he is so low, he's gonna spin to win right now. Demo Nano comes out. TFC just want to recap campus. They want to flip it. Perso is stalling as long as he can. As, as might 
Bob comes through. Fight Big Taco. Massively throwing the best he can to try to go personal, but his key gets shot. His, his markets are not hitting this elusive tracer. I said corrected. I commentary cur cast the curse. Massively fight two. He almost has an air ready. The beat comes out of a killer bomb to keep the stall going. And he got some stars. And with a red coming out, but the bomb is here for Matt Damon. It's so scrappy from both sides. Both so scrappy and so. Insane big techo coming in with the reds and hug off by scary no nano coming inside this fight Massively comes in finds glass, but then most of that brush is eaten by hungo And they just keep going forward both bone doesn't find much and TFC is just tennisly is stopping forward As if does find hammer, but I don't think it will be enough here and TFC They'll take it! They complete the reverse sweep and TFC take this series 3-2! Wow, what a last... Uh, that was a heck of a fight from both teams. I, I I thought we were gonna see a map 3 there, Chuck, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was so close. It's, uh... Oh. Fantastic fight right there. I got like, the grab, the high nail, the beat, the, the big tech, big O with the high nail and the beat. All well done there. Uh, the MVPs are going to be hard tonight. Oh my god, they are. I, there's... I don't it's know. Be a hard one. Yeah, it's going to be a hard one. I got to say, though, that this match, that was one of the best. One of the best comebacks I ever seen from a roster. One of the most best bounce backs I ever seen from a roster, I should say. Ever. And Bushido, even though Bushido lost that, they looked very good. That looked that was the best I've seen Bushido. Actually, I'm gonna group this. That's the best I've seen Bushido and Duck Duck in a, quite a while. I'm saying Duck Duck because they were you know, as you as most people know, they Bushido Bonsai was Duck Duck last season. And that was the best I I seen it perform and that's and I don't mean I don't mean that I don't mean that as an insult. I mean that as a compliment because I'm saying the the, the improvements and the pickups they have gotten are working. And this team is definitely at an upwards trend right now. If you're Bushido Bonsai, even after this loss, you you take you take this game with a smile on your face. This is definitely this is the, the improvements that you made are working. And yeah, and if you, it's, it's, and I hope and I personally hope to see Bushido able to carry through with performances like that in the near future. TFC always, always a great performance. Player. Always great to watch these guys. These guys are, like I said, a lot to a lot of people the best team in tier two, and that reverse sleep just so grand. Now, Chuck, MVPs. Uh, for, for, first of all, did you, did you ask uh, MVP nominations? I, I said, and Prof nominated himself. Okay, Chuck. well that. As you know, this man this is the this man has no ego. Prophetic, this is the I, I, I I've never seen a man with no ego in my life. Prophetic has, 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 has no ego at all. Absolutely no ego. <laughs> Absolutely no ego. He's such a humble man, you know, he's like he always looks out for Are his, doing his interviews? team. We can. Uh you can ask if you want. I'm down for it. <laughs> the most humble man alive, prophetic. <laughs> I'm actually curious. Uh, hey, ch chat. What? Chat. What? 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 What do you think for MVPs, chat? I'm pretty curious. Okay, so they nominated uh, TFC nominated Neo and Hongo. Mm, okay. Um, and just to clarify, will we do interviews? Does that have to? Do both sides need to agree in order to do the interview, or can we? Because I don't want to. I just want to make sure. Because TFC said they, no, they want to do the interview, but I want to make sure that we have both sides if they're open to as well. I'm. If I'm correct, I don't think both sides need to do it. Okay. If I'm correct. I don't know. I've. I actually. I. I usually both. It's usually both sides to uh, take the interview. Uh, from what usually most teams I commentated. Uh, but. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I'm correct that not both both sides do not have to take the interview. I mean, they, like if one side doesn't take it and one side does, it's perfectly fine. Okay, I just wanted to see it because we'll start. Uh, we'll do the MVPs and then we'll 
I'm bring them in after. All right, who's all right, all right. So I haven't have got anything, anything from. from I'm, I'm still waiting from uh, Brasil Bonsai because we got okay, the okay. we got the MVPs from. Alright, I mean, I, I, I'll say my I'll say my personal thoughts of MVPs. Uh, I would say from, from if I if, like for me from what I'm thinking of because it's just such such a tough game for tank. From my for, 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 if I if I, had to, if I had to choose, you know, I was I was thinking it was, I was, it's probably either gonna be Prof or it's gonna or it's gonna be uh, our demo, which actually sounds shocking. Cause, but our demo had a really good game that also on the main tank role there, uh, especially in the first two maps. Uh, he was like, he was he was really really on fire there on that right heart. Uh, so that's, and if I had if I had to uh, if I could choose if I had to do DPS, uh, well, probably either Neo or Master Link, and supports either probably either uh, Gary or Big O because both Gary Gary and Big O oh, really good tonight, especially with Big O hiding always hiding from those EMPs with not getting his beats, perfectly done. Um, I'm trying to take control of the chat so I can get uh, a response from uh, Bonsai to see if they they want to do interviews as well. But as you know, uh, our spirited friends at TFC have taken over the chat, so I'm still, still trying to get a hold of that. Oh yes, the classic TFC faction and fa uh, action. <laughs> they do many things good. They have a good dive, they get double barrier, but the best comp they run is taking over chats. Uh, Gary, oh, 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 so they, they nominated, it seems like Bushido nominated Gary and Link for MVPs. I seem to miss that. Um, I just, I just tag Katie directly, because that's the only person I can get a hold of. Or, okay. Uh... Okay. All right, so let's get the MVPs down. All right, so Chuck, who do, you, who are you thinking for tank? Because like, I think for me, like finalizing for me personally, I think I'm gonna go with Prof, because of how flexible he was tonight on all the different roles, and his Winston especially was was actually pretty incredible. Um, what 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 do you, what do you think of uh, tank MVP? Uh, and by the way, there's no uh, interviews from Bashiro Banzai. Okay. Um. So, tank. I had to give it to Prof too. Uh, I, I, I know the, uh, Prof is a uh, one man without any ego, but I, I thought as well the swaps tonight were like key. That monkey. I, I've not seen that from Prof, uh, like too much at all. So to see that come out and they played it really aggressively, especially at defense. Uh, TFC was really mm. able to put it, bring it together back on that Volskaya. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm chuckling because I was ready, I was ready, I read Matt's chat there. Yeah, they are the the snow the snowballs especially on that, on that Volskaya map were incredible claim from the from the TFC roster. Uh, but as we as we as we all know, uh, Prof Anik, he's quite a character, uh, <laughs> quite a, quite a character of a person. <laughs> so, but. Yeah, I, I think I think I mean I think I'm I'm gonna so I'm gonna agree on a profit like MVP. I think. Yes, I'm type. Okay. So... I'm not uh... typing it up all together. Okay. I re I really do. Okay. I I really want to do. And this is my what I want us to do. I really want to do Neil for me personally. Uh, Neil Golden King for. Uh, a a M a uh, TPS MVP personally. I think Neo came in, looked extremely good. Uh, like I said, the, the roster really looked, had like a revitalization when Neo came in. And if not Neo, I want to do, uh, if, if, if you don't agree on Neo, then maybe also Perzo, because I think Perzo did really well here tonight too. Oof. Yeah, I I would I would say that as well. I, I, I felt when Neo came out, 
Like, uh, I especially thought that it gave a lot of uh, bonsai tonight, like that extra oomph. And then I felt like their, uh, the rest of their comps like really coalescence around that. And you saw that, that early aggressions on that first two maps really helped uh, bonsai really uh, take the pace to TFC. And they were kind of, I, I think they're, they left TFC a little bit sometimes, like trying to figure out how to respond back. And it, and it took, that's why we got that back and forth, like for the final maps that we finally got to. Is that you had those, because once those battles were like, uh, you know, with each other back and forth, that's when you really started seeing like those real um, between the two sides. Yeah. All right, all right. It's so, okay. Uh, though, 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 I will say, I want I, for honorable mention. For like, honorable mention, I want I will say Master Link for us honorable mention because. I, you. I mean, so, like, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> you you, you so, just have to. Like so. It's... Do you want to do uh, Perzo or Neo? I will, I'll let you do it. You do the choice. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go with Neo. All right, okay, Neo. Neo it is then, for the DPS MVP. Uh, and for the for the support, uh, for me personally, uh, the supports on TFC, specifically Big O and uh, Gary, were just on fire here tonight. Both of them were crazy. Uh, these these supports are. I don't. I'm shocked you don't see much talked about, especially Gary. This his name is so so damn simple, but man, he is very good on it. Well, can, very very good on it. Can we just? I mean, I want to give it to Gary to be honest. Like you want to give it to Gary? Yeah. All right, give, 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 me, give it to Gary. All right. Uh, I'm the, I'm perfectly fine with that person because I thought his nanos were always on point. He was always in the right position. Nades were fantastic also from him. I think we give it to Gary pretty comfortably. Oh, don't forget honorable mentions. Uh, honorable oh. mentions to Master Link, and I actually also want to do an honorable mention to our demo because that was I think a very good performance for our demo. I want to do two us two honorable mentions. It's really hard to type Link's name. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what, Dylan? Wait, what? <laughs> I, I see him say, wait, what, in chat. Um, wait, what? What, 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 what? Okay, uh, so we have two, uh, so Kenny wants to do an interview. So Kenny we'll, does? Okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. So we'll invite in Kenny, and now we have those in, uh, we'll do that last thing, and then we'll close everything up after this interview. Okay. Sounds good. Welcome, Kenny. Welcome. Uh, is anyone uh, else you? Yes, Chubb, Chubb, Matt Damon said he okay. wants. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Let me, let me. I have to tell him I can't. I can't invite him. Yeah, yes, invite him. Oh, you did? Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Wait for uh, Chubb to join us. Oh, welcome. Thank you guys for thank you for coming on. Yeah, Hello. no problem. All right. All right. So, uh, first thing I gotta say, congratulations on the rever the reverse sweep tonight. That was that was pretty insane to commentate and watch, especially that final map on Garden. Yeah, it was fun. It was super intense. All right. Um, now we have a couple questions here. Me and Chuck do because I mean, you know, it's the whole point of the interview. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna start off here quickly uh, for a question for you, Kenny, actually, because uh, you're you're more of the manager for this. You're more of like a manager figure for this team. And I know I noticed that you lost a big piece of the TFC roster, uh, Lee Ratty, this uh, couple, these past two weeks. Uh, how did how was how did that affect you guys before this game? What did you guys have to prepare without Lee, or were you guys perfectly fine about him? <clears throat> Lee's a really good player, but I do think we were fine because we have like we had at least like six support players, and so like. Part of the reason was because we had just had like an influx of support players, mm -hmm. and so like if Lee was here, Gary probably wouldn't have played as much as he plays today, and I thought Gary played really well tonight. So uh, I think we we were fine. Uh, it, Lee is a big piece to lose, but we have like 
four or five other support players on the roster, so I think we'll be fine going forward. All right, right on. Um, I, I, I also have a second question here coming up here. Actually, more for a team perspective, so uh, more from more from Matt Damon here. Uh, something I noticed is that you guys you guys are hard committed to like the the Ryan the Ryan Zarya on the first two maps. At one point you popped out a double barrier, but the instant you guys got the upper hand is when he popped out the dive comp. Um, and, I, you, and the dive honestly was one of the, was one of the, like a very smart play coming for you guys. I'm wondering, uh, is there an exact reason why you popped out the, the Winston Diva dive? What was your like thought process during it? Did you what was your idea of who, who to single out on the side of Bushido Banzai? So <clears throat> the reason we ran dive, it's it's actually something uh, we've been working on in scrims uh, since I joined the team. Uh, we started off like not very good at the dive, and we just like we would go into scrims and lose five zero, just like running dive on every map. And it's something that we're starting to get more confident in, especially on uh, Volsky. Volsky has been one of our best dive maps. Uh, so we just kind of realized that. Um, we wanted to run the far. The, the, the team we were going against, they didn't seem to be able to f handle the pharmacy. And in, since we're going to run a Mercy, we wanted uh, tanks that didn't need a, a ton of healing. So we just ran the on a Mercy and just went with the dive. And it's something we were already strong with. So we, we ran it, you know, on the couple of maps that we ran it and it, we saw success. So it was good. All right, right on. Uh, Chuck, do you have any questions uh, for them? Uh, so... Uh, I don't have any like uh like super major questions. Um, I I I thought that like tonight. Um, I mean there was a, a lot of good plays from both sides, uh, definitely. And uh, especially coming from the sides of uh, TFC, your dive, uh, was something to be holding as a, a captain of a team called Diving Phoenix in Tier Three. Mm -hmm. It's uh really good to see that uh I ended up pulled off, and you know you can definitely tell that. There's a lot of practice we put into that. Yep. A big adjustment we made going from map two to map three <clears throat> is map one, we came out really intense. Uh, and then we lost 2-0. And we didn't expect to lose 2-0 uh, on Busan. So we were kind of like hitting the, hitting the chest, hitting the stomach kind of thing. We lost, we lost our wind. And then map two, uh, it, you could tell from like our comms and, and everything. We were just kind of like beat up. And then we lost again. And... It was just like we just made a decision to like no matter what we're going to come out with intensity so when we switched to dive the comps were very intense very like there was a lot of force and intensity with it so it worked out and it made our dive cleaner so something else i was actually talking about during the stream is uh but you guys having like a, a, it was all it was pretty prominent and pretty shown throughout the, the final three maps how you guys had like that a reset in your mental um who was who was the one three really that charged there? Like, was there anybody that was like a leadership figure on the team that was able to get the the, ment the mental game reset for all of you guys, or was it like a, a team effort there? Thank you for that. Kenny, uh, you were in. Uh... <laughs> That's the question. For you. I, I I just I just didn't want to say that. Yeah, that was me. I I, I felt like I, I I took the step the step forward and said, hey guys, we're gonna go forward. I. I I took another scoop of pre-workout, went and got a, a cup of water, <laughs> and I was like, "I was like, guys, we, no matter what, we're we're gonna we're gonna step forward, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna come out with intensity. We're not gonna get down." And Kenny also is, does a good job of like keeping the team together and like, "Hey guys, look forward, you know, don't look back, you know, this is what he he said." When we reverse sleep, a lot of times it comes when we have to play Volskaya and then go forward. And lo and behold, we're on Volskaya. We went forward. We took the reverse sweep. And also, this isn't our first time because, you know, uh, last playoffs, even in the regular season, against Bushido Banzai, when they were DDG, they went up 2 0, and then we had a reverse sweep. We had to do it again this time against, like, Pizza Planet in playoffs, against uh, Pepegas in playoffs. We started slow both times, like, all of those times we started out down 0 2. And I don't know. We just have a pretty, we do a pretty decent job of just getting our head back in the game. I feel like, uh, and big shout out to like Prof, because at times he's like, he can get, he's a, a very emotional player. He's really young, obviously. He's a very emotional player. And so when he has his like confidence and calms up, then I do think he plays at a much higher level than when he's down. And I think after Blizzard World, 
I was kind of surprised after Blizzard because they beat us on Blizzard Road and then they like kind of steamrolled us on First Point of Osaka. And so like for us to turn it around and still win, that was really impressive on the side of uh, all the players. So I'm very happy with that. We definitely like look to our name going for content as like a rally cry. Like no matter <laughs> what the score is, if we're down 0-2, whatever, we're throwing for content. Let's go win this. <laughs> You're just like if we if we lose, we still got the content. That's that's the mindset. <laughs> I do think people want to see us lose, so it is content. People do want to see us lose. It's just no. probably not gonna happen. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure it doesn't happen. That's actually my final question. I want to ask quickly. Uh, you you knocked out so many teams. I, if, I'm, if I'm correct, nobody's beat you this season. So, who do you think is to be your hardest game out of the teams that are left? I think I said uh, I've always given Bushido Bonsai the credit, like even before um, J Money left. Like J Money, like when we scrimmed Bushido Bonsai, they have beaten us. Like I think they've beaten us like three out of four times, or four out of five. And sometimes they were like four o four one five o us. Like it's they have like beaten us in scrim. So this performance from in the night wasn't a surprise to me at least because they've given us a lot of issues. But I think I think everyone knows that. Iconic Noobs is probably the main team we're worried about with a bunch. Like, they have All Wash and, like, Ranch and Gleam, Pog, and then they add J Money. Like, that's, I think that's our biggest composition going forward. That's the main team we're worried about. Yep. I agree. Well, all right. Awesome. Uh, anyways, we are unfortunately short on time because the stream's been going on for quite a bit. Uh, so, I'm, I'm going to, I'll, I'll think, I'm going to quickly thank both of you. For coming coming here tonight and for thank the you interviews. Yeah. Thank you as well for the caster. Oh, you walk. Oh, anytime, anytime. Um, all right. So, God, what an what an insane game that was. So, um, the MVPs are out. Everything's out. All right. So I think that that should be it. Correct, Chuck. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, um, I'm going. So, thank you guys. You know, of course, for tuning in tonight. It's a great game, and um, uh, yeah. Uh, Holy Chuckster. Chuckster. I'm going to try to there mess that up. <laughs> Always messes up. He, he, he messed up at the beginning, too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> happens, right. happens. GG's. Right. Right. We'll see you guys. Nice